Chapter 1661 Tang Wan'er Fights Translator Born to be Long Chen's foot struck like lightning, viciously striking Wang Haitian's crotch and causing him to fly back with a miserable wail. Wang Haitian had underestimated Long Chen too much. He thought that when he used his full power, Long Chen wouldn't be able to receive a single one of his attacks. However, with the five-star battle armor, Long Chen was so strong that Wang Haitian a peak life star expert, was unable to shake him in the slightest. Instead, his one attack caused Wang Haitian's lower body to explode. As raging winds roared around him, Long Chen sneered, Since you don't want to hear my explanation, I don't need to bother wasting the effort. I'll tell you all right now. All your southern Xuan region's experts were slain by me. Long Chen, if you want revenge, then come. It's the same thing. Fight or fuck off. Long Chen knew that this kind of blood debt could not be resolved by reason. Explaining had no meaning, as no one would care. However, he wasn't unreasonable. If they wanted him to explain, he would. It was just that since they didn't, he wouldn't have to waste the time. He didn't care either way Novaloon.com if no one would listen to his explanation. Then they couldn't blame him when he killed them. Anyone who wanted his life would have to be prepared to risk their own. A random attack from Long Chen had destroyed the lower body of one of the rulers of the southern Xuan region, startling the other experts from this region. However, their fury was further provoked when they heard that Long Chen had slain their disciples. Bastard, hand back the life of my granddaughter, the ancient family alliance's branch master. Han Wanchang roared furiously and slashed a sword at Long Chen. When that sword slashed through the air, heaven and earth quivered. Long Chen snorted and suddenly thunder force circulated around him. Lightning wings appeared on his back. He shot toward the clouds like a great pang. If you want to kill me, then come with me. Don't stain the pure land of the Skywood Divine Palace with your dirty blood. Long Chen rushed off in an instant. He didn't want to destroy the Skywood Divine Palace. As for Han Wan Chang, he was shocked. He had clearly used his aura to lock Long Chen down when attacking. However, his lock had been absolutely useless. Long Chen had ignored it and left as soon as he had wanted to. That shocked Han Wan Chang, as well as infuriated him. Long Chen didn't place him in his eyes. That was an insult. Brat, where do you think you're running? Han Wan Chang charged after him. The other southern Xuan region experts also followed. Master, I, Chu Yao suddenly walked over to the palace master. She knelt on the ground, ashamed. Good child, you can go. As master and apprentice, I respect your decision. No matter what happens, you will always be my apprentice. Even if you are no longer a disciple of the Skywood Divine Palace, you will still be my apprentice. The palace master lifted Chu Yao and gently rubbed her cheek with a loving smile. She knew that Chu Yao was about to leave. Although she had been prepared, she couldn't help feeling a bit unwilling. Chu Yao was her most outstanding apprentice, and she viewed Chu Yao as her own child. Now, Long Chen had become enemies with the entire southern Xuan region, and Chu Yao had to stand by him. Since that was the case, she could only leave the Skywood Divine Palace. Otherwise, the Skywood Divine Palace would have to face everyone's aggression. With Chu Yao's kind nature, she definitely wouldn't want to implicate her master or her sect. The palace master truly understood Chu Yao well. She knew exactly what Chu Yao was thinking, and she comforted her by saying that even if Chu Yao left the Skywood Divine Palace, she would forever be her apprentice. Thank you, master. Chu Yao once more knelt on the ground, kowtowing to the palace master three times. This was a form of goodbye. In all her years at the Skywood Divine Palace, the palace master had treated her like her own child, even sacrificing her longevity and beauty to rebuild Chu Yao's foundation and talent. Chu Yao didn't know how she was ever supposed to repay her master for her kindness. Tears of shame dripped down her face. Good child, you can go. Even if you leave the Skywood Divine Palace, I will always be your master. As your master, my greatest hope is to see my apprentice's accomplishments surpass my own. That would be my greatest glory. Nothing else is worth bothering about. I trust you will definitely become stronger than me. And I trust that day won't be too far in the future. I'll eagerly await that day. Said the palace master softly as she helped wipe away Chu Yao's tears. 
Chu Yao nodded, clenching her teeth. She flew away with Men Qi and Tang Wan'er. Using my status as Master of the Skywood Divine Palace, I announce that starting from today, Chu Yao is no longer a disciple of the Skywood Divine Palace. Her actions have nothing to do with my Skywood Divine Palace. The Palace Master's voice rang out through the sky. Although she had been prepared, Chu Yao still felt like a blade was slicing her heart. Don't feel bad. She only announced that you are no longer a disciple of the Skywood Divine Palace. She didn't say you are no longer her apprentice. Comforted Men Chi softly. The Skywood Divine Palace had no other choice. When Chu Yao had first come here to cultivate, she had said that she wouldn't be able to stay forever. She cultivated solely for Long Chen. Chu Yao had now formally left the Skywood Divine Palace. Hence, the palace master had no choice but to take away her status as a disciple. However, Chu Yao would always be the apprentice she was proudest of. Suddenly, they felt the world shake. Divine light erupted like an exploding sun. Long Chen had left the Skywood Divine Palace's territory, and no longer had any misjivings. Evil Moon had suddenly appeared in his hand, and he immediately slashed it at Han Wan Chang. The collision of two divine items caused a huge explosion that pulled open the curtains to this battle. Long Chen, I will definitely get vengeance for my granddaughter today. Han Wan Chang roared and once more attacked with his sword. His aura was vast like a sea and heavy as a mountain. He was actually a half-step nether passage expert. Just half-step nether passage. With how arrogant Han Fifa he was, I thought you would already be at the Nether Passage realm. I wonder, how is it that people like you with garbage combat power can still be so arrogant toward other people? Long Chen met Han Wan Chang's attack with his saber. The immense power shook the land, shocking the others. Long Chen was actually so powerful that he could fight evenly against a half-step Nether Passage expert. He was a monster. A golden spear shot through the air. Joining the fray, Long Chen, return my sons to me. The wielder of this spear was the one Long Chen had just sent flying, Wang Haitian. He had fully recovered and charged back. However, just at that moment, a lithe figure appeared before him. Space twisted strangely, and an invisible blade blocked his path. It sent him flying with a powerful explosive sound. Tang Wan'er had appeared before him, her white dress fluttering around her. Looking at these experts from the southern Xuan region, she announced, The reason why Long Chen killed your experts was because those people were controlled by Shen Bijin's zither music and were trying to kill him. He acted in self-defense and had no choice but to kill them. This matter bullshit. We refuse to believe it. You're all just as bad as each other. Who would listen to your nonsense story? Wang Haitian's rage was further provoked upon being blocked by Tang Wan'er and he charged forward once more, his manifestation appearing behind him. Since you don't want to believe it, then you can die. Tang Wan'er frowned as she was also enraged. Now she knew why Long Chen couldn't be bothered to explain himself. Explaining had no use against these people. They wouldn't listen no matter what. Tang Wan'er's own manifestation appeared. Within that endless primal chaos was a full moon. Although it was still indistinct, that moon had already formed. When Tang Wan'er's manifestation appeared, for a single moment, it felt like time was standing still. Tang Wan'er's invisible blade slashed down. What shocked everyone was that despite Tang Wan'er being miles away from Wang Haitian, and despite there being no sword image or divine runes, this simple slash caused Wang Haitian to suddenly smash his spear forward with a horrified expression. Boom. Wang Haitian's spear smashed into the air. An invisible existence sent him flying. As he flew back, blood streamed out of a large cut on his chest. Even the soft armor he wore had been cut through. What startled cries rang out from the southern Xuan region's experts. What kind of magical art was this? An invisible, silent attack that came from miles away? I didn't want to kill you, but you are forcing me. Tang Wan'er stood in the sky, looking down on these experts. This was her warning. Everyone, don't be afraid. This kind of magical art is completely heretical. We have to attack together to get vengeance for our disciples. A white-haired elder roared and took out a shield. Light blossomed from the shield, protecting him as he took the lead to charge toward Tang Wan'er. Following his actions, other experts roared as well. Their favorite disciples had been slain. 
so they had to get vengeance. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and Cloud were about to join the battle when their attention was suddenly drawn to a gloomy Tang Wan Er. She slowly pressed her palms against each other. When she pulled them apart, a sphere appeared between her hands. Chapter 1662 Terrifying Expert Translator Born to be that sphere slowly grew as Tang Wan Er spread her hands. It was translucent and sparkling like a crystal. However, when it appeared, time seemed to stand still. Silence drummed in people's ears, and all those experts quivered. They smelled death from that sphere. There were millions of almost imperceptibly tiny runes dancing within that sphere. They were simply swimming around naturally, yet everyone sensed a fatal danger from them. What kind of magical art is that? The southern Xuan region's experts were horrified. They were large powerhouses who were dominating the southern Xuan region, and they had lived for countless years. But even they had never seen such a terrifying and bizarre magical art. Wind Spirit Moon Slash Tang Wan'er's hand suddenly began to shine as she unleashed her sphere. Rumbling filled the air, breaking the silence. Space and time were torn to shreds, and the world was thrown into chaos. Within the Skywood Divine Palace, the palace master and the elders were watching with shock. How could a soul transformation disciple unleash such a terrifying attack? The Great Era has really arrived. Even the Jade Lake venerates four great inheritances have been fully inherited after countless years of people only being able to comprehend portions of them. For Tang Wan Er to be able to unleash her wind attribute divine arts just after obtaining her inheritance, she must have mastered part of it. We can finally see the slightest tip of the ancient Jade Lake venerates power. The palace master sighed emotionally, but Tang Wan Er's magical art doesn't seem like it's using wind energy. The fluctuations are wrong, said one elder. There is a common saying that wind cultivators must cause a huge gale that shakes the land to display their power, but that's just a common saying. Tang Wan Er's magical art has reached the peak of wind, and it returned to a calm state until she unleashed it. This attack is terrifying, said the palace master. At this time, Tang Wan Er's attack had reached the southern Xuan region's experts. The white-haired elder carrying the divine shield was struck first. Boom. The sphere exploded. A vast energy exploded like a volcano. The previously calm sphere had exploded. Millions of tiny wind blades shot out furiously in every direction. The white-haired elder shield instantly exploded. And the wind blades devoured him. Turning him into bloody mist. Even his Yuan spirit was annihilated. She can destroy divine items. The other experts were horrified. They immediately turned around and ran. However, their speed couldn't match the wind blades. They could only unleash their strongest attacks as they fled. Those with divine items were lucky. They only coughed up blood as they were sent flying. However, those who had charged forward to the front without divine items weren't so fortunate. Their bodies were cut through by the wind blades. The unluckiest ones were pierced through the head and died. Tang Wan Er's destructive power was heaven shaking and it shocked everyone. If it hadn't been for the white-haired elder's divine shield blocking a portion of the power, it was unknown how many of them would have survived. However, hundreds of life star experts were heavily injured, and dozens were killed with this one attack. The survivors looked up in horror at the icy-faced fairy floating in the air. Even Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian were shocked. Tang Wan Er was no longer the old Tang Wan Er. In her current state, she was truly terrifying. She had killed a sect leader who held a divine item, even destroying that divine item. Facing tens of thousands of life star experts, Tang Wan Er was completely domineering, like an icy battle goddess. No one dared to take another step forward. On this side, Tang Wan Er had intimidated all the southern Xuan region's experts to the point that none dared to approach again. On the other side, Long Chen was fighting evenly against the half-step nether passage Han Wan Chang. What the southern Xuan region's experts couldn't accept was that Long Chen was like a ferocious tiger, and he was the one on the offense, forcing Han Wan Chang to retreat time and time again. With his divine ring spinning and five stars revolving in his eyes, he leaped forward again, slashing Evil Moon down heavily. Long Chen attacked three times, each time stronger than the last. On the third one, Han Wan Chang coughed up blood and miserably flew back. He, he lost. Seeing Han Wan Chang fly back, 
the southern Xuan region's experts felt their hearts turn cold. That was a half-step nether passage expert. He was the one with the highest cultivation base amongst all of them, as well as the strongest. Since he had been forced back by a soul transformation disciple, they couldn't accept it. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He coldly looked at the shocked and infuriated Han Wan Chang. You're only half-step nether passage, but your arrogance surpasses a nether passage expert. Is this the tradition of your Han family? Do you have no ability other than bullying others? As expected, the young learned from the old. Back then, Han Fifi had been the same, charging forward tyrannically through a crowd. When someone didn't get out of the way fast enough, her people whipped them. Long Chen looked down on people like her the most. They had superiority complexes that had them always crush others to express their own greatness. Han Wanchang had never expected Long Chen to be so powerful. Even though he had used all his power and magical arts, he was being beaten by Long Chen. What infuriated him the most was that Long Chen didn't compete with him in magical arts. Long Chen was like a scoundrel randomly hacking people with his saber. He didn't give Han Wanchang any opportunity to unleash his ultimate attacks. Regretfully, Han Wanchang was not an Empyrean who could have his Yuan spirit form hand seals for him. That would greatly shorten the amount of time required to cast his magical arts. You suddenly, Han Wanchang's expression changed. He took out a dragon-shaped jade plate from his robes, his anger transforming into joy. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, your death has come. Han Wanchang laughed brazenly as he crushed the jade plate. A pillar of light descended from the sky, and a figure slowly condensed. When the palace master saw that dragon-shaped jade plate, her expression changed. However, she had had no time to warn Chu Yao. A figure slowly appeared within the pillar of light. It was a square-faced dignified middle-aged man in yellow robes and a violet gold crown. He was large and muscular. His eyes were as sharp as blades and blood-colored runes flowed within his pupils. It was like his sight could pierce a person's soul. When he appeared, the hair all around Long Chen's body stood on end. He already knew who this person was. Without saying a word, the middle-aged man moved through the air, leaving countless afterimages. He appeared in front of Long Chen without anyone seeing how he had moved. Split the heavens six. Long Chen, who had already started accumulating energy, slashed his saber. HMPH. The middle-aged man snorted and raised a hand to block Long Chen's saber. He broke Long Chen's attack easily with just his palm, and Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. The middle-aged man's body shook ever so slightly from Long Chen's attack, and he was a bit surprised. However, his expression quickly returned to normal. He took another step forward, and the world suddenly lost all its color, leaving behind only white and black. There were no other colors other than black and white. When that happened, all the experts turned pale with terror. Life and death energy. This is a nether passage expert. Only a nether passage expert can control this kind of energy. An almighty nether passage expert actually came to handle Long Chen personally. The experts were all struck dumb. They had never imagined that a nether passage expert would lower his own status and dignity to attack Long Chen. It had to be known that Long Chen was only a soul transformation disciple. For a nether passage expert to attack him was elevating Long Chen's status and turning themselves into a laughing stock. The middle-aged man hadn't said a word. When he summoned his life and death domain, everyone felt that only two types of energy existed in this world now. One was life, and one was death. Both those energies were under the control of this middle-aged man. Within this domain, he was a god. He decided who lived and who died. There was no way any of them could resist. Long Chen was completely locked down by this life and death energy. He felt like an invisible hand was gripping his throat. And he couldn't even move or resist. Resisting meant death. Space was frozen. Time was still. That middle-aged man coldly walked over to Long Chen. His right hand reaching for Long Chen's neck. Suddenly, space shook and an invisible and silent attack came from behind the middle-aged man. It was Tang Wan'er's sneak attack. The middle-aged man didn't even turn around. His left hand reached back, and the wind from the pointing of his finger broke Tang Wan'er's attack. However, just as he crushed Tang Wan'er's attack, the immobile Long Chen suddenly moved. 
Long Chen's large hand slapped the middle-aged man's face. That clear sound resounded throughout the battlefield. Chapter 1663 Nether Passage vs. Nether Passage Translator Born to be it happened too suddenly. So suddenly that everyone was dazed. It felt like time was moving slow as they witnessed one of the most shocking sights of their lives. Long Chen's palm slapped across the middle-aged man's face. And that dignified man was forced back several steps by the immense power. As for Long Chen, he used that force to retreat. Just as they separated, a powerful bolt of sword chi slashed through the space where the middle-aged man had just been. It was like a celestial blade, a blade of the starry sky. This attack had been to prevent the middle-aged man's attack. However, it was one step too late, as the middle-aged man had already been slapped back. Long Chen retreated a dozen steps, each of his steps causing the ground to crumble beneath him. Although he was the one who had slapped the middle-aged man, the resulting backlash was still difficult for him to bear. His left hand concealed a nail, which he silently put away. That was what he had originally prepared before he had sensed the sword chi. A life and death domain might be able to restrict everyone else, but it wasn't able to restrict him. He didn't know if it was because he had entered purgatory, but this kind of life and death energy couldn't bind him. Before, just to prepare himself, Long Chen had asked the old patriarch, a nether passage expert, to use his life and death domain against him. At that time, Long Chen hadn't been able to move a finger. However, it was different this time. He didn't know why, but this life and death energy wasn't able to bind him in his place. Therefore, Long Chen had acted like he was completely bound, just waiting for the middle-aged man to approach carelessly. The middle-aged man was truly terrifying. Long Chen had prepared the nail from the gates of hell. However, just as he had been about to use it, he had changed ideas and switched to the slap that he was most proficient in. Long Chen stabilized himself and looked up to see a woman standing in the air. Her sword was still shining with divine light. That attack had come from her. Greetings, Alliance Head. Long Chen smiled when he saw that woman and respectfully bowed. She was the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Kujinying. She had attacked to force back the middle-aged man and save Long Chen. However, Kujinying's current expression was very strange. She had been planning to save Long Chen, but Long Chen's slap was outside her expectations. Die. That middle-aged man's dignified face immediately became filled with killing intent and he pointed a finger. A black and white spear shot out of it, prying apart the void. It was as if all the cosmos's energy was concentrated within this spear, and the laws of life and death revolved around it. This middle-aged man was finally infuriated. Alliance head, someone is trying to kill your disciple. You must stand up for your disciple. Long Chen immediately dodged behind Ku Jinying. He knew that this middle-aged man had gone completely crazy. His current cultivation base was too low to block a nether passage expert's attack. Ku Jinying was startled but also found it funny that Long Chen was such a madman. This slap might just shake the martial heaven continent. However, at the moment, she had no choice but to focus her attention on the middle-aged man. She also attacked, slashing her sword that also had white and black energy intertwining over it. The attacks of two nether passage experts collided. The explosion of life and death energy caused a huge ripple to spread. Long Chen felt a slight pain in his soul, but it quickly went away. However, in the distance, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and the others all let out a pained groan and fell from the sky. Their Yuan spirits were in intense pain like they were being torn apart. The other experts were no better off, and they all fell from the sky as well, holding their heads and wailing. Their Yuan spirits had been severely injured. A clash of life and death energy causes shockwaves that are very damaging to Yuan spirits. Fortunately, their Yuan spirits are strong enough. Ordinary soul transformation experts would have been killed, said the palace master. She and the other elders of the Skywood Divine Palace were watching from a distance. Palace master, those two are, asked a young elder. She didn't recognize those two and was very curious. They're both figures that can shake heaven and earth. People with the greatest authority in this world. One is the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Ku Jinying. As for the other, he's the head of the Ancient Family Alliance. Di Long. This will be troublesome. 
I didn't expect the Jade Lake pageant to disturb two extraordinary existences like them. I don't know how this matter can be settled. If the two of them were to really start fighting, the entire Martial Heaven continent might become covered in a rain of blood, said the palace master worriedly. Ah, then you mean Long Chen has just slapped the head of the ancient family alliance, exclaimed the young elder before covering her mouth. The palace master sighed inside. Although she had long since heard that Long Chen dared to do anything, and his ability in causing trouble was unmatched beneath the heavens, an existence that was constantly imitated but never surpassed. She had never expected Long Chen to accomplish a feat never before achieved in all of history. Hu Jinying, I must kill him. If you block me, then from now on, your martial heaven alliance will be enemies with my ancient family alliance. Di Long coldly looked at Hu Jinying. He clasped his arms behind him like a dignified emperor. His voice was like a drum resounding through the air, causing people's ears to shake. It contained unquestionable confidence. From the moment Hu Jinying had seen Long Chen slap Di Long, she had sighed inside. She was currently thinking of how to resolve this enmity. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance was allied with the Ancient Family Alliance. She didn't want to make matters worse. However, Di Long's tone was clearly a kind of order that provoked her anger as well. She was the leader of the righteous path. Who dared to threaten her? Long Chen is my disciple. No matter what mistake he made, I, Hu Jinying, will help him bear it. If he was really wicked beyond redemption and a disgrace, I would clean up my own door without you interfering. However, if you had someone intentionally provoke and set him up, then you should know my temper. No matter who I should go against, I will get justice for my disciples. Although the time she had known Long Chen was short, Hu Jinying had lived for many years and had seen all sorts of people. She had immediately seen that although Long Chen still possessed the carelessness and temper of youth, he was not an untrustworthy person. It was the opposite. He was someone very worthy of her trust and confidence. Di Long's expression immediately sank. Hu Jinying's attitude was clearly one of not giving a single inch. Reporting to the alliance head, Long Chen viciously slaughtered all, all the attending disciples of the southern Xuan region in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. You have to get justice for us. An elder walked over, quivering. He was the southern branch master of the Martial Heaven Alliance. His descendants had also died in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Is this true? Hu Jinying was startled. Long Chen has already personally admitted to it. How could it be false? Sneered Han Wang Chang. Long Chen, is it true? Hu Jinying barked at Long Chen. Well, I suppose, it's possible that it's likely. Maybe. True. Long Chen didn't know how to reply. You. Hu Jinying was enraged. Let me first declare that they wanted to kill me, and I had no choice but to fight back. It was well within the bounds of self-defense. Long Chen hastily expressed his innocence. Tell us clearly. With no evil smile, raged Hu Jinying. Only now did Long Chen narrate everything that had happened in the Jade Lake Sacred Land, including the trap that Di Shen and Shen Bijin had laid for him right from the start. When Long Chen had still managed to fight back, Shen Bijin had used devil music to control the southern Xuan region's experts to attack the Pill Fairy, Tang Wan'er, and the others. In the end, they had all died to his starfall. What nonsense. We only have your word and one side of the story. Who could believe such a thing? Roared an expert. It's because you wouldn't believe me that I didn't say anything. However, since the Alliance had ordered me, I had no choice. Long Chen shrugged indifferently. You shameless bastard. You killed so many people and still want to act innocent. You're the most shameless bastard in this world. The elusive music Immortal Palace is one of the protectors of the continent. They have a mission to protect the Martial Heaven continent. So how could they be so sinister? You definitely tried to kill someone for their treasures and then silenced others by killing them. Long Chen. How sinister. If you don't die. The heavens won't be able to rest. We refuse to believe Long Chen's one-sided story. Furthermore, even if they were controlled, how could you kill the innocents? They had lost their minds, but you still killed them. How vicious is your heart? Are you even human? The southern Xuan region's experts roar surged out in waves, each louder than the last. Are you joking? They wanted to kill us. 
How did we become the vicious ones for killing them? You must have a mental illness. Laruian couldn't hold back any longer. Slot, shut your mouth. We have to kill Long Chen as vengeance for those departed souls. Otherwise, they'll never be able to rest in peace. Long Chen must die. Laruian's words provoked those experts' fury even further. I just knew that talking reasonably had no use. That's why I couldn't even be bothered to try. As I said before, either fight or fuck off. Long Chen then turned to Ku Jinying. Alliance head. Now you know what happened. I don't like causing trouble, but I'm not afraid of trouble. No matter who tries to kill me, I will fight back with my full power. Right now, as long as you can stall that fellow for one incense sticks worth of time, I will make sure these noisy people never open their mouths again. Alliance head, just give me the order. Hearing that, those cursing experts immediately shut their mouths. It felt like a blade was pressed against their throats. Everyone was deathly silent. Chapter 1664 There's no cure translator. Born to be how could they not be afraid? They were already intimidated by Tang Wan'er's previous attack. When Di Long came, that powerful support made them start shouting for their deaths. However, once Long Chen said this, they all turned green. If Ku Jin Ying tied down Di Long, then with how tough Long Chen and the others were, who could stop them? Han Wanchang wasn't even able to stop Long Chen, while Tang Wan'er was even more terrifying. Then there was Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Cloud, and Lu Ruian who hadn't attacked yet. Who knew how powerful their trump cards were? If they started fighting, then their numbers wouldn't save these people. It would probably be a complete collapse on their part. The people who had been cursing the loudest were all mute. If a fight really started, they were afraid of being the first ones targeted by Long Chen and the others. Even ten lives wouldn't be enough for them then. What an arrogant tone. You should be fortunate you've been in the eastern Xuan region all this time. If you came to the central Xuan region, you'd have long since lost your life to that arrogance shouted Di Long. That really is true. The central Xuan region has so many impressively shameless people. Why? Even a Grand Nether Passage expert personally came to attack me. A little soul transformation disciple. Dying from shame would have been quite normal. I really admire experts who condense all their life's cultivation base into thickening their skin. Just now, my hand even hurt having slapped such thick skin. Admirable. Really admirable laughed Long Chen. Long Chen looked coldly at Di Long. Even after considering what he had done in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. For a nether passage expert to actually chase him across regions was far too shameless. The power of Long Chen's words was not one whit lower than the power of his slap. Di Long was shaking with rage. Di Xin's nine-line soul calming jade was a life-protecting talisman with Di Long's spiritual mark, allowing Di Long to open a spatial channel through it to launch an attack through space and annihilate Di Xin's enemies. However, Di Long had been too careless in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. He hadn't activated his life and death energy to seal space, allowing Tang Wan'er to save them. His attack also roused the core of the Jade Lake Sacred Land, and that core had launched an attack to destroy the spatial channel he had created. Fortunately, the southern branch master of the ancient family alliance, Han Wan Chang, had a jade plate that Di Long could use to give him direct orders. He had charged his way over here to kill Long Chen immediately, but regretfully, Ku Jin Ying had also come. The fact that he hadn't managed to subdue Long Chen and had instead been slapped in the face was the greatest humiliation of Di Long's life. He, a Grand Nether Passage expert, had attacked a soul transformation disciple. That in itself was already extremely humiliating. The slap was even worse. Now, these words were like another slap in his face. Even with Di Long's calm, veins bulged on his forehead. Long Chen. Don't say random things, shouted Ku Jin Ying. Ku Jin Ying was actually very apprehensive toward Di Long. Unless she had no choice, she would rather not become hostile with him. Di Long, this is a misunderstanding. I understand Long Chen's character, and he has always disdained to lie. I trust what he's saying. Furthermore, that girl from Pill Valley can also testify to it. If Long Chen was lying, he'd quickly be exposed so he has no reason to lie. Although it might have been a bit vicious to kill those experts, have you considered what you would do if you had been in his place? 
he and his wife's lives were in danger. If you were in his place, would you just let them die in front of you, or would you protect them? Don't tell me that he could have switched to a different method to have his cake and eat it too. In that kind of critical moment, protecting his own side is an instinct, and that's not wrong. The wrong doesn't lie with Long Chen, but with Shen Bijin and Di Xin. Di Long, someone with such a respected status like you wouldn't refuse to admit to this, right? Hu Jin Ying turned to Di Long. Di Long's expression was gloomy. He had looked over what had happened before coming here. This matter truly had Shen Bijin and Di Xin to blame. They were the pens who had taken the initiative to provoke Long Chen. With his status, he couldn't just lie bald-faced. However, to have him admit that this matter was Di Xin's fault was definitely impossible. If he admitted to that, his previous attack against Long Chen would become the conduct of a despicable, petty little person. I'm still not clear on the whole sequence of events. Di Xin has fallen unconscious and I came over this time mostly to ask Long Chen for the antidote. Long Chen, if you hand over the antidote and my son survives, there will still be room for discussion. If my son dies, then no matter what your reason is, don't even think about getting away alive, shouted Di Long while pointing at Long Chen. The antidote Hu Jin Ying and the others were startled. What antidote? Long Chen had merely said that he had injured Di Xin and made him flee. He hadn't said anything about poison. In the face of Di Long's threat, Long Chen suddenly laughed. What a great, unreasonable excuse. Yes, it's truly domineering enough. Then I'll tell you, this thing has no cure. Your son's life and death will just depend on how many sins he has committed in this life. Other than that, don't point your finger at me, as that's very rude. Don't think of me as just some insignificant soul transformation rookie. If you provoke me, You'll find your nest burned to the ground. Long Chen was really angry now. He had been stifling his anger ever since this old bastard had almost killed him. And now this old bastard was threatening him again. What made him lose his temper was Di Long saying no matter your reason. In other words, even if Di Xin was the one in the wrong, he would kill Long Chen. In what world was that reasonable? Long Chen was completely infuriated. If Di Long said anything more, he decided that he would have his next tribulation in the headquarters of the ancient family alliance. Brat, your arrogance is soaring. Di Long laughed furiously. In all his life, this was his first time hearing someone say such a thing to him, and it was someone he could kill with the wave of a hand at that. Long Chen, don't mess around. What poison is affecting Di Xin? If you have the antidote, hand it over. This isn't the time to be messing around, ordered Ku Jin Ying. Hu Jin Ying knew Di Xin's name. He was the most spoiled of Di Long's sons. That wasn't just because of his talent, but because Di Xin's mother was an extremely large figure in her own right. Even Di Long had to concede to her somewhat. Although Long Chen had slain the southern Xuan region's top disciples, the fault stemmed from the elusive music Immortal Palace, and it would be carried by them. That way, Long Chen's responsibility for this matter would shrink. However, if Di Xin died, this matter would grow even bigger to the point that even Hu Jin Ying was apprehensive of the consequences. That was why she wanted Long Chen to hand over the antidote. After all, he was an alchemist, and refining some poison pills wasn't difficult for him. Alliance head, there really is no antidote, as that thing wasn't brewed by me. It is something I obtained in a strange place. Even I don't know its origins, answered Long Chen respectfully. After all, Hu Jin Ying was the old man's close friend. Long Chen viewed her as an aunt. If he dared to be rude to her, the old man would come flying back from the Nether Passage realm and give him a spanking. Furthermore, Hu Jin Ying viewed Long Chen as family. Long Chen was fearless toward other experts, but he had to be respectful in this kind of relationship. Nonsense. That thing contains boundless death chi that even invades a person's yuan spirit. How could you possibly not know what it is? If you didn't know, you'd have long since been poisoned to death, roared Di Long furiously. He was extremely anxious. Although he had invited expert healers, he hadn't received any news about their results. They had most likely yet to find a way to control the poison. If Di Long had wanted Long Chen dead from the start, Long Chen would have long since died. What he wanted was to capture Long Chen and force him to hand over the antidote. 
that was what resulted in De Long being slapped. But now wasn't the time to quibble about that. Getting the antidote was a more pressing matter. Hu Jinying was also anxious now. This was no joking matter. But looking at Long Chen's appearance, it didn't seem like he was lying. She couldn't help but ask, where did you get it then? It's this. Long Chen took out a jade bottle and handed it to Hu Jinying. When Hu Jinying opened the bottle, her expression completely changed. This is. She recognized this. When she had gone into the netherworld, she had used a spiritual seal to preserve her memories before the gates of hell. Although she hadn't crossed the Black Lake, she had seen the black waterfall in the whirlpool, and she still remembered the death chi that came from it. Seeing this death spirit water, she was filled with disbelief. Well, what is it? demanded Di Long. Hu Jinying handed the bottle to Di Long. Although Hu Jinying knew what it was, she didn't press Long Chen for answers. She didn't even use a spiritual message as she was afraid of Di Long sensing it. What is this? How can it have such a dense death aura? This kind of sinister thing is something only the corrupt path could have. Speak. Are you colluding with the corrupt path? Di Long saw a dozen drops of the death spirit water inside the bottle. Even he sensed danger from it. It was no wonder Di Shin hadn't been able to block it. Can you think before speaking? Is your head only there to eat crap? Even if I wanted to collude with the corrupt path, would they collude with me? Sneered Long Chen. His huge, irreconcilable enmity with the corrupt path was well known. The corrupt path wished to kill him in the most painful way possible. Him colluding with them was a huge joke. Although Tang Wan'er knew that now definitely wasn't the time to laugh, a chuckle still managed to escape from her lips. Men Chi and Chu Yao were bitterly enduring. Lu Ruyan's expression was as icy as ever. While Cloud was too pure to understand what was happening. Long Chen, don't be rude. Hu Jinying also wanted to laugh. This little brat's cursing skill was quite amazing. However, she managed to endure it. Perhaps my Skywood Divine Palace can help with this matter. In the midst of this extremely awkward atmosphere, the palace master slowly entered the conversation. Chapter 1665 Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree Novaloon.com Translator Born to be the palace master of the Skywood Divine Palace walked over and bowed slightly toward Hu Jinying and Di Long. Whether it was in terms of cultivation base, status, or seniority, she was not on the same level as them, so she had to greet them as a junior. Palace master, you have a way? Wonderful. Hu Jinying was delighted. As long as Di Xin didn't die, things would be easy to handle. I'll have to thank you for this. If you can really guarantee that my son will be fine, I, Di Long, will owe you a favor. Di Long's expression also softened. The palace master shook her head slightly. She received the jade bottle from Di Long and sniffed it lightly. This is no evil water. It is something condensed by death energy. Rather than saying it is poison, it would be better to call it a manifestation of a law. Long Chen is correct. There is no way to resolve this kind of energy. My Skywood Divine Palace has a Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree that I can lend to you. With its life energy, it can dilute this death energy. However, I would estimate that even the Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree would only be able to suppress it. Actually expelling it would be very difficult. Nevertheless, I'm confident that as long as it can be suppressed, you have your own way to expel it. Correct yes. As long as it can be suppressed, everything will be easier to handle said Di Long hastily. A translucent sphere appeared in the palace master's hand. What startled Long Chen was that this little sphere contained a giant space. Within it was a tree. That tree was extremely strange. It was clearly a heaven-soaring tree with only three branches, each with only one leaf. It was like a sapling that had just sprouted. Although it was encased in its own mysterious barrier, Long Chen could still sense endless life energy coming from it. Just breathing it in relaxed one's whole body. This was definitely a treasure. This is the heavenly spirit divine tree. These trees have gone extinct on the martial heaven continent. And only my skywood divine palace has three of them left. Today, I will lend you one so that young master Dishin can be cured earlier. Let us exchange hostility for friendship. The reason the palace master was lending Di Long the heavenly spirit divine tree was twofold. One reason was because this matter had occurred in the Skywood Divine Palace, and as the host, she couldn't stay out of it. 
The other reason was because she truly did not want to see the Martial Heaven Alliance start fighting the Ancient Family Alliance. If these two large forces started a fight, rivers of blood would flow. No one would be able to suppress the corrupt path. The Martial Heaven continent had entered the Great Era, and heavenly geniuses were springing up like young bamboo after rain. Powerful existences were rising all at the same time. There was the corrupt path right in front of them, while there were also neutral forces like the ancient races, Xuan Beasts, Bloodkill Hall, and more. They were like tigers lying in wait. The righteous path had internal troubles and plenty of external ones as well. Many thanks for your assistance. Once my son is healed, I will definitely come personally to thank you. Di Long received the Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree. He was about to leave. Hold it, said Ku Jinying. What? Could it be that you wish to exchange a few pointers against me? Seeing Ku Jinying block him, Di Long's suppressed rage flared once more. There's no need for that. You are just a clone and don't have the qualifications to challenge me, said Ku Jinying coldly. I'm simply asking how you plan on handling this matter. That elusive music Immortal Palace's Shen Bijin was so malicious. Although Long Chen killed her already, this huge calamity the southern Xuan region went through was all caused by the elusive music Immortal Palace. Are you not planning on demanding an explanation from them? The matter of the Jade Lake sacred land was too huge. The responsibility would have to be borne by someone. Otherwise, if things were simply left like this, it would make her, the Alliance head, appear useless. This matter was caused by Long Chen, so the responsibility should be borne by the Martial Heaven Alliance. It has nothing to do with my ancient family alliance. We are only victims, sneered Di Long. Ku Jin Ying's meaning was clear. The two of them should go find the elusive music Immortal Palace for an explanation. It was their disciple that had caused this, so they had to accept the responsibility. Whether it was compensation or just an apology, they had to follow through. However, the elusive music Immortal Palace's foundation was frightening, and they were also one of the protectors of the Martial Heaven continent. Even Ku Jin Ying didn't want to offend them, so she wanted to pull Di Long in. However, Di Long actually refused, pushing the responsibility onto Ku Jin Ying, even saying that she was at fault. How could she possibly accept that while he acted like the victim? Bullshit. We're the victims. Don't tell me that if Long Chen and Di Xin's positions were reversed, you would say Di Xin was at fault for striking back at Long Chen. How did it become our responsibility? Raged Ku Jin Ying. Di Long indifferently said, As far as I'm concerned, this whole disaster originated from Long Chen. Shen Bijin's love for him turned into hatred. As for what Long Chen did to Shen Bijin, who knows? How he played with her emotions is impossible to know. Shen Bijin is one of the elusive music Immortal Palace's top two disciples. So she's definitely no fool. For her to do something so crazy, can you say for sure it's unrelated to Long Chen? Who would believe that? Long Chen didn't properly handle his own relationships, implicating everyone else. Even if he had to act out of self-defense to kill those people. He also has unavoidable responsibility for their deaths. As for my ancient family alliance and the other sects, they're the real victims. You and the elusive music Immortal Palace are the ones who have to take responsibility for this matter. I have no time to waste talking to you. If my son is healed, then I'll leave this be. But if anything happens to him, you should just wait to endure my rage. D Long became covered in divine runes. Space twisted around him as he vanished from everyone's sight. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Di Long left, leaving all the responsibility on Ku Jin Ying, making her break out cursing. The southern Xuan region's experts didn't dare to make a sound. They were all old foxes and saw that this was a competition of power between two huge hegemons. They knew that with Ku Jin Ying present, killing Long Chen as vengeance for their disciples was an impossibility. The ones to blame were clear. The majority of the blame fell to the elusive music Immortal Palace. As for Long Chen, he had a bit of the blame, but it was very small. Just that little bit wasn't enough for them to demand his death. These experts were infuriated. Their disciples were all killed, but they didn't know who they were supposed to find for vengeance. Di Long had left. Even without Ku Jin Ying present, they wouldn't dare to try and kill Long Chen. That was purely courting death. 
They all looked at each other. In the end, they silently left. Staying here was meaningless, as it would only make them lose more face. Alliance head, the southern branch master of the Martial Heaven Alliance came forward respectfully. You can go. I'll handle this. Hu Jinying flapped her hand. Yes, in the end, all those experts left, leaving behind only Hu Jinying, the Skywood Divine Palace's master, as well as Long Chen and the others. Hu Jinying's expression was frighteningly dark. She slowly turned to look at Long Chen, who immediately felt a chill and put on a hasty smile. Alliance head, hello. After several months, you've grown even more beautiful. I hear Long Chen was in the midst of carefully sucking up when Ku Jinying's hand reached out like lightning, grabbing his ear and twisting. Ow, oh, it hurts Alliance head. It hurts Alliance head. I was wrong. Long Chen didn't know what Ku Jinying was doing, but it felt like a needle was stabbing his ear. Little brat, you don't feel shame crying it hurts. I'm the one with the headache. Ku Jinying ignored Long Chen's pleas for mercy. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and the others couldn't help but find it funny upon seeing Long Chen in such a miserable plight for the first time. Alliance head, my wives are right there. They'll get jealous of your unsuitable actions, cried Long Chen. Bullshit, I'm old enough to be your great grand aunt. Furthermore, just based on my relationship with your old man, you'd have to call me auntie. What would they get jealous of? Raged Ku Jinying. And, do your best. We definitely won't get jealous. It just so happens we want to learn your great techniques. Please, go ahead and show them all so we can learn. Tang Wan'er immediately walked forward with an excited smile. Wan'er, I have always loved you so much. But you, Long Chen didn't even know how he was supposed to express his indignation and grief. HMPH, who asked you to be so fickle-hearted? Tang Wan'er sniffed and turned her nose up at him, seeing the usually threatening Long Chen like a little cat in Pu Jinying's hand. Meng Chi and the others heartlessly laughed. Senior Pu, why don't you come and have a seat in the Skywood Divine Palace, said the palace master. No, I have a crapload of things to handle, and this little brat just gave me even more things to do. Fuck, I'm pissed. Pu Jinying twisted her hand harder, making Long Chen shout louder. Ku Jinying was truly powerful, but it actually wasn't enough to make Long Chen so miserable. However, Long Chen knew that since Ku Jinying was helping him handle this matter, it would be best to let her vent. If he didn't act pitiable, who knew whether she would switch to an even worse punishment? Ku Jinying had the same temper as the old man. If he acted too manly now, he didn't know whether his butt would be turning a bright shade of red in a bit or not. A man who knew how to bend flexibly was a proper man. The palace master nodded and walked over to Chu Yao. She tidied Chu Yao's hair a bit and gently said, You're a kind child. To tell the truth, I am really unwilling to let you enter a world filled with blood. Master, good child. The baby bird grows each day in the nest so that it can one day soar through the sky. This day will come sooner or later. It was my fault for saying these things that shouldn't be said. Take care of yourself. Although you aren't a disciple of the Skywood Divine Palace anymore, I will forever be your master. If you are tired one day, come and find me. Although the palace master did her best to control herself, her eyes reddened. After saying that, she turned and left. Looking at her back, Chu Yao's tears streamed down her face. Meng Chi and Tang Wan'er could only comfort her. Let's find somewhere quiet so I can properly put you in your place. Ku Jinying finally released Long Chen, but her expression was still very fierce. Chapter 1666 The Eastern Xuan Region's Crisis Translator Born to be they left the Skywood Divine Palace and flew on a flying boat for an hour before stopping in a secluded mountain range. Brat, where did you get that black water? Ku Jinying looked at Long Chen. She had been really shocked. She almost didn't believe it. Tang Wan'er and the others were also curious. They had seen how terrifying that black water was, and Chu Yao especially had felt great fear for it. That was an instinctive repulsion. They all looked at Long Chen intently, wanting to know. In truth, you know what it is. Your guess is correct, said Long Chen. Then you mean, don't tell me that. Hu Jinying immediately thought of a possibility. However, that was even harder to believe. He, the old man brought me in for a stroll. 
You know that hardworking men like us have to help each other. Hujinian cursed. That old bastard. He brought a little bastard like you in. Do you both want to lose your lives? Although S. Long Chen was alive and well, she still felt it was crazy that Long Chen had entered the netherworld with the old man. What pissed her off the most was that, disregarding Long Chen who was still young, the old man had actually agreed to do something so foolish. Long Chen, what are you talking about? Asked Meng Chi. Can I tell the truth? Long Chen looked at Ku Jinying. They are the people closest to you. Whether you say it or not, they are affected by your karma. Why would your guts only shrink now? Snorted Ku Jinying irritably. Long Chen laughed mischievously and explained how he had gone into the netherworld with the old man. However, he didn't dare to mention anything about purgatory. Of course. He also didn't mention Zi Kiankian to avoid Tang Wan or beating him out of jealousy. Long Chen didn't say how much death spirit water he had. He only said that he had used it against Di Xin. In any case, Long Chen didn't care about Di Xin. With the death spirit water, Long Chen could easily play him to death. So Long Chen had already removed Di Xin from the list of people he had to kill. You are both crazy. Hu Jin Ying shook her head. She could only give this appropriate evaluation. Alliance head. Do you really not remember anything about things past the gates of hell? Asked Meng Chi. Hu Jin Ying shook her head. No, not even a trace. Although I properly segmented my memories and sealed them using a secret art, the majority of them were still fully erased. I have shown you what I managed to retain, which is what happened before the gates of hell. Perhaps this is just a kind of law that cannot be stopped. However, even when it comes to things outside the gates of hell, if there's no need to, it would be best if you didn't spread it. Even that has karmic implications they all nodded. This was a kind of law above the heavenly deos, a law related to the riddles of life and death. They had to be respectful of it. Alliance head, did you come specifically to save me? Probed Long Chen. TCH, I'm not a god. How could I know you would provoke such a calamity as soon as this was mentioned? Hu Jin Ying's fire was stoked. Alliance head, calm down. You don't want to get an ulcer Meng Chi and Chu Yao hastily tried to calm her down. Seeing them hold Hu Jin Ying back, Long Chen felt grateful. This was what a family should do. You little brat. You really piss me off this time. The matter of the Eastern Xuan region isn't even fully settled yet. But you already caused such a thing in the Southern Xuan region. Will you die if you don't cause any trouble? Hu Jin Ying glared at Long Chen. But this wasn't my fault. If it was the old man or even you in my place, you would have annihilated those sect leaders who came at the end. Right? So I've already done well. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Although he wasn't sure about Hu Jin Ying, he knew that if it was the old man, he would have immediately exploded when the explanation didn't work and killed all those people. Brat, do you think I'm so unreasonable? Raged Hu Jin Ying. Long Chen looked at Hu Jin Ying without saying anything. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others also looked at her oddly. Clearly, when Hu Jin Ying's fury was provoked, she wasn't that reasonable. Only when she saw those odd expressions did Hu Jin Ying's expression soften. I received notice from the Devil Abyss that the barrier between worlds is continuing to weaken. The channel in the Devil Abyss is slowly opening. When the time comes. All five regions in the central plains will face an attack at the same time. As long as there are defenders, this isn't particularly difficult to deal with. However, however, the Eastern Xuan region's experts have practically been annihilated by you. Just what is the Eastern Xuan region supposed to bring out to defend with? Furthermore, all the Eastern Xuan region sects are heavily injured, and when I went to alert them that they were to gather their forces to face the Devil Race, they said they had no one available and capable of fighting a battle on that level. They even said since the Dragonblood Legion thought itself unrivaled, I should just send the Dragonblood Legion and that would be enough. Fuck. Not only are the Martial Heaven Alliance's direct subordinates acting like this, but even the Ancient Family Alliance is making excuses. I went to the Zhuanshan Dao sect to find you, but Li Xiangxuan said you came to the Jade Lake pageant. I had a bad feeling as soon as I heard that and rushed over just in time. But now you've really done it. Not only does this problem exist in the eastern Xuan region, but even the southern Xuan region is gravely wounded. Little brat, 
Even Connors don't con people like this. Hu Jinying had a belly full of fire but was helpless about it. She could only blame her own unfortunate fate. How did she end up with such a troublesome subordinate? Not only were the Southern Xuan region's elites annihilated, but Long Chen had also slapped Di Long in the face. Right now, Di Long had no time to bother with Long Chen as he was in a rush to save his son, but once he had time, he would definitely come back. After all, he was a nether passage expert and the leader of the ancient family alliance. Having been slapped, if he didn't kill Long Chen, he would never be able to leave his room with his head raised again. Thinking of that, Hu Jinying had an urge to die. One hole had yet to be filled before Long Chen gave her a new one. I won't accept responsibility for what happened in the southern Xuan region. That's Shen Bijin's problem. So you should leave it to the elusive music immortal palace. As for the eastern Xuan region, can I ask one question? If I can handle the invading devil race on my own, all the rewards for doing so will be mine. Correct as soon as Long Chen mentioned rewards, his eyes began to shine. He currently needed a great deal of money to reconstruct the Zhuanshan Dao sect seeing that unscrupulous expression, with his eyes practically shining like spirit crystals. Hu Jinying snorted, if you could handle the devil race on your own, then all the eastern Xuan region's rewards would go to you. But you don't have that ability really? Even if I'm not enough, I still have my dragon blood legion. We can definitely overcome any adversaries. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. You're thinking too simply. The Martial Heaven continent might have entered a great era, but this is a chain reaction. The Devil Race's side is also entering their great era. While our side gains experts in droves, their side is also growing in power. The Devil Race must be giving rise to powerful geniuses. Furthermore, this eruption of the Devil Abyss will be unprecedented. You know about your Zhuanshan Dao sect's Devil Abyss, correct? That's just one channel given to your Zhuanshan Dao sect to defend. All the large sects have their own branch that they are protecting. Tens of thousands of sects are working together, spreading out the devil race and blocking them. However, there will be no way to control the upcoming eruption. You'll have to go down the main channel to fight. If the devil race's army manages to charge out of the channel, life star experts will be able to kill them, and there are also formations present to stop them. However, only soul transformation experts and below can enter the channel. 10,000 of your Dragonblood warriors is just a drop in the bucket compared to the endless Devil Race army. You have no idea how terrifying they are. The reason these sects are refusing to help definitely has the shadow of Pill Valley behind it. They are choosing to watch by the sidelines so they can laugh while the Devil Army charges past you in the main channel. And now you actually say such a thing? Tell me. Are you asking for a beating, Alliance Head? I don't know what that Devil Race army is, but the main point is money. As long as there's money, you can rest assured that I can handle the Eastern Xuan region's side. I guarantee to handle it perfectly, said Long Chen confidently. Really Ku Jinying was a bit surprised to see him so confident. She was no longer so sullen. How could I dare to lie to you? He, however, as family. You should know how to repay me for handling the entire Eastern Xuan region, little brat. Who's your family? However, if you really can handle it alone, then I guarantee to give you a reward based on how many devil creatures you kill, promised Kujinying. Good, then just watch. I'll handle this so perfectly that, ah, uh, about that, I am a bit tight on cash recently. Can you give me a tiny advance on that reward? Long Chen bashfully smiled and extended a hand. Scram. You haven't even done anything. And you want a reward? As if. Hu Jinying slapped Long Chen's hand away, causing Meng Qi and the others to laugh. All right. You should return to the Eastern Xuan region and prepare yourselves for the eruption of the Devil Abyss. I'm going to take a trip to the elusive music Immortal Palace. I'll have to ask what exactly they were doing. When she mentioned the elusive music Immortal Palace. Hu Jinying's expression sank again. Chapter 1667 Sudden Danger Translator Born to be Hu Jinying left. Matters like defending against the invasion of the Devil Race were the responsibility of the Martial Heaven Alliance. This was the convention followed for countless years. However, now there were problems. 
that was due to the fracturing between the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Ancient Family Alliance. The main cause of this fracture was Long Chen. Last time, the two sides had started becoming unhappy after the Dragon Slaughtering Convention. Back then, due to Pill Valley pulling the strings behind the scenes, although the two didn't start a fight, the crack between them had been formed. As for this time, even two huge hegemons like Di Long and Pu Jianying had gone face to face. The ancient family alliance might stop supporting the martial heaven continent because of it. This was all caused by Shen Bijin. Pu Jianying definitely had to go to have a conversation with the elusive music immortal palace. Once Pu Jianying left, Long Chen obediently used a flying boat to travel toward the eastern Xuan region. However, there was now one person missing. Lu Ruian had returned to Chu Yao's spiritual space. It was unknown if it was because she didn't like looking at Long Chen that she left. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, and Cloud were all talking and laughing. Cloud was holding Long Chen's arm. Cloud had just learned how to transform and was still learning how the human race conversed. Sometimes, she would suddenly say something bizarre that made them laugh. Cloud would often blush and try to listen more. Long Chen. I've obtained the wind inheritance. My future accomplishments will have no limit. So you should treat me a bit better in the future so that I look after you. Tang Wanur suddenly patted Long Chen on the shoulder in a carefree manner, looking like she was no longer the old Tang Wanur. Tang Wanur had clearly lost her old suppressed resentment and gained confidence as well as optimism. This was the result of her power shooting up. Is that so? Since a heroine has opened her chest to me. I won't be courteous Long Chen laughed mischievously and hugged Tang Wanur. What are you doing? Cried Tang Wanur. I'm expressing how people should speak from the heart. Laughed Long Chen. Then, you're touching. My heart? Hurry up and let go. Although she had done similar intimate acts with Long Chen. Those were in private and certainly not in broad daylight with Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Cloud watching. Her whole body felt soft as she didn't know how to resist. The previously intimidating bad wolf had now become a cute little rabbit. Tang Wanner was as red as an apple as she fled. Chu Yao and Meng Qi were also red. They cursed Long Chen for being a rogue and doing something so immoral. Long Chen laughed, very pleased with himself. He had finally gotten some revenge. When Pu Jianying had been punishing him, Tang Wanner had looked so pleased. Now he finally took back the advantage. He found that when it came to women, as long as he was shameless enough, he definitely wouldn't be at a disadvantage. Long Chen, don't mess around. Cloud is still a child, and it's broad daylight. Scolded Meng Qi. Broad daylight? Meng Qi, are you telling me it's all right at night? Long Chen laughed wickedly. Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan are all turned red upon seeing his perverted expression. Long Chen, you scoundrel. How can you be so shameless? The three of them raised their fists at the same time and gave Long Chen a flurry of punches. Long Chen laughed, completely pleased with himself. How is this shameless? Look at the nice mountains and water, the white clouds in the sky. With such beautiful women beside me, isn't it very natural to start fantasizing? Laughed Long Chen. Unexpectedly, as soon as he said this, Tang Wanner immediately turned hostile and glared at him. Little brat. As expected, you're thinking about other women what are you talking about? Asked a startled Long Chen. You think you can trick me? You clearly like that Han Fifi. Could it be you like her so much that even though she's already dead, you're still thinking about her? Speak. Why do you want to fantasize about her? Tang Wanner grabbed Long Chen fiercely. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. He had just randomly said something, and Tang Wanner had ended up connecting that to Han Fifi. Where did that come from? Meng Qi and Chu Yao laughed. They knew Tang Wanner was intentionally finding trouble for Long Chen. After laughing, Tang Wanner suddenly asked, Long Chen, you said that you have a method to upgrade our Yuan spirits. Is that true or not? We also want a powerful Yuan spirit like yours. When Long Chen's Yuan spirit was mentioned, they all looked at him enviously. That was their first time seeing Long Chen's Yuan spirit come out and fight. He had actually gone against a divine item barehanded. He, let me show you something. Long Chen closed the windows of the flying boat and took out a large stone. When they saw that stone, Meng Qi was the first to let out a startled cry. 
Her soul energy was the strongest, so she could directly sense the vast spiritual strength within this blood-colored crystal. That spiritual strength was boundless like a sea, and its purity had reached a kind of pinnacle. Even her own spiritual strength was starting to surge just from being this close to it. Her soul energy was already starting to show signs of rising without even trying to absorb it. What what is this? Meng Chi was startled and delighted. The spiritual strength within this stone could actually be absorbed without any resistance. This was huge to Meng Chi. It had to be known that a person's spiritual strength normally had to be upgraded passively. It was mainly based on one's natural talent. Hard work had a limit when it came to spiritual strength. Natural treasures that could increase a person's spiritual strength this much were incredibly rare. The exceptions were things from the corrupt path, which were made by extracting other people's souls. However, absorbing those also resulted in absorbing a terrifying amount of resentment. As your soul energy increased, you would also become bloodthirsty and crazy. So upgrading one's spiritual strength was far too difficult. Spiritual strength was the main foundation for nourishing the Yuan spirit. Someone with weak spiritual strength couldn't possibly have a powerful Yuan spirit. After all, the size of the water decided how large a fish could be raised. There was no such thing as a whale raised in a washbowl. This is a blood soul stone. I got it from the netherworld Long Chen had kept this information back from Ku Jinying. It wasn't that he didn't trust her, but that sometimes when he was about to say certain things, he would feel a vague unease. He guessed that it might involve some kind of karma. However, he didn't feel a similar kind of danger when it came to Meng Chi and the others. So he told the truth. The spiritual strength inside is as vast as a sea. It will allow us to increase our spiritual strength by a whole level. That will make our attacks even sharper, said Tang Wan'er excitedly. If it was just a matter of increasing spiritual strength, I wouldn't have taken the risk to get it. This blood soul stone is the only treasure that can allow someone to recondense their Yuan spirit. The energy inside it is split between blood and soul. However, after being cleansed and purified, these two kinds of energy can be directly absorbed without the slightest flaws. As long as you have enough spiritual Yuan, by absorbing these two kinds of energy, you can recondense your essence, Qi, and soul to upgrade your Yuan spirit. It can be said that this blood soul stone is a heaven defying treasure, said Long Chen. For this blood soul stone, Long Chen had almost lost his life. The information about it was something Zikai Ankian had taught him. Her Aldevil Starfield produced this thing, so she had plenty of experience with it. Recondense our Yuan spirit? Then can our Yuan spirits become as powerful as yours? asked Tang Wan'er. I don't know. It will be based on each person's limit said Long Chen truthfully. Back when Zikai Ankian had been present, he had asked that very question, and her reply was that recondensing the Yuan spirit the second time would make it reach its strongest possible state. However, putting it another way, it meant that it would allow the Yuan spirit to grow to its limit. A tree might grow to 300 meters, but a sunflower couldn't possibly reach the same height no matter how many times you tried planting it. So since each person's innate talent was different, it would be based on their potential. Ah? Uh, well, when I condensed my Yuan spirit, I had 8,700,000 primordial runes. Doesn't that mean my limit won't be much higher? Tang Wan'er couldn't help being disappointed 8,700,000 was a shocking number. But beside Tang Wan'er was Zhu Yao who possessed an even stronger soul and had condensed 19 million runes. As for Meng Qi, she was even more terrifying, having condensed 47 million runes. Amongst the three of them, Tang Wan'er's soul was the weakest. Not only that, but her cultivation base, combat power, and Yuan spirit had been the weakest amongst them, making her feel inferior. That was why Men Chi had called Long Chen over to make sure that Tang Wan'er could obtain the wind inheritance no matter what. Otherwise, it might have formed a heart devil in her. However, Although she had obtained the wind inheritance, having such a weak Yuan spirit still displeased Tang Wan'er. Meng Chi sensed that and changed the subject. Long Chen, how many primordial runes did you have when you condensed your Yuan spirit? Me? I'm embarrassed to say. Tell us. We aren't afraid of receiving an impact. Meng Chi winked, her meaning clear. 
having all three of them receive an impact was much better than just Tang Wan Er feeling inferior. Well, the main thing was that they were truly curious about how many runes Long Chen had condensed. Long Chen gave Men Chi a thumbs up inside. My Yuan spirit didn't have that many primordial runes. It's actually a bit embarrassing to say it. Back then, I wasn't too confident and only randomly condensed it. Now I regret it. I should have tried to condense more. Sighed Long Chen regretfully. Ah, you didn't use your full power at that time? Are you a fool? How could you get sloppy when it came to something as major as condensing a Yuan spirit? Demanded Tang Wan Er. Meaning Chi smiled slightly. She understood Long Chen far too well, and as expected, Long Chen shrugged and helplessly said, Back then, I felt that 1 billion and 80 million primordial runes were enough. So I stopped trying. 1 billion and 80 million. Although Men Chi was prepared, even she was stunned by this number. Tang Wan Er was stunned, and she suddenly beat Long Chen. You bastard, you're toying with me. They were in the midst of laughing when the flying boat shook. They had entered the ancient battlefield. The spatial fluctuations were growing. Long Chen, what is it? Men Chi suddenly noticed that Long Chen's gaze had sharpened. That light was a bit frightening. Someone's waiting for us. Long Chen stopped the flying boat and flew out. Toward the surrounding chaotic space. He shouted. D Long. I didn't think you were so enthusiastic to send yourself straight to me. Chapter 1668 Conning a Nether Passage Expert to Death Translator. Born to be Men Chi and the others were startled. They hastily looked around. However, all they saw was the chaotic space. It was impossible to see anything. This place was the ancient battlefield. The surroundings were always like this. They didn't sense anything strange. Haha, <laughs> little bastard. You're quite vigilant. D Long's voice rang out. Space twisted, and D Long appeared in front of the flying boat. Men Chi and the others' expressions changed. They hadn't expected D Long to be waiting for them here. Hu Jinying had told them to be careful before leaving. They shouldn't think that just because they were powerful, they could challenge Nether Passage experts. The true Nether Passage realm was far stronger than Half Step Nether Passage. There was an uncrossable divide between the two. Even if Long Chen could defeat the half-step Nether Passage Han Wan Chang, he would still die to De Long. He probably wouldn't even be able to receive a single blow. However, who would have thought that De Long would appear in their path right after Ku Jin Ying left? They instantly fell into a definite death situation. Old bastard, you're also not bad. You actually pushed all the responsibility onto Senior Ku Jin Ying so that she would be forced to go to the elusive Music Immortal Palace. As for us, we have to hurry back to the Eastern Xuan region to handle the eruption of the Devil Abyss. I suppose you've already entrusted someone with sending the Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree back, while your disappearance was just to fool us. Correct said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen didn't find it too curious to find Di Long blocking their path. He had slapped Di Long in the face. With the Heavenly Spirit Divine Tree, Di Long didn't have any more misjivings. As long as he was given an opportunity, he would definitely make sure that Long Chen vanished from this world. Being smart is useless. Today, you'll definitely die. Di Long took a single step before slamming a palm at Long Chen. Black and white ripple spread from him as this space was filled with life and death energy. It was like in that instance, the life and death of everything in this domain was under his control. Di Long still had one arm behind his back. His attack looked effortless. However, there was a terrifying power condensed within his palm. Even a clone dares to be so arrogant Long Chen summoned his divine ring and battle armor. He slashed Evil Moon at Di Long. Split the heavens six. This is a good move, but sadly the user is too weak. Di Long disdainfully smiled. His movements didn't change at all, and he blocked Long Chen's attack with a simple palm strike. Boom. Long Chen felt like his saber had landed on a star. His arms shook, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. HMPH, ignorant brat, the power nether passage experts can control is no longer just energy, but law. With your pitiful power, how can you block me? Foolish to the peak, although that was what came out of his mouth. D Long was actually a bit surprised. His palms should have blown Long Chen to pieces, leaving behind only his Yuan spirit. 
The power of Long Chen's physical body was something Di Long had never witnessed before. Di Long's body shook. The world turned dark and then suddenly turned bright. Di Long appeared right in front of Long Chen, seeming like the ruler of this world. His palm was unavoidable. Space had been fully compressed. His life and death domain was at full power, locking Long Chen down. Long Chen wildly vomited blood, and Evil Moon went flying out of his grip. He was finally experiencing the terror of Nether Passage experts. Hu Jin Ying was correct. They truly weren't something he could currently fight against. You're the one who's foolish to the peak. Have a taste of my fist. Long Chen's eyes turned red as he unleashed all his power into a punch. Insignificant Di Long looked at Long Chen's deathbed struggle with disdain. There was an uncrossable gap between them. No matter how Long Chen struggled, it was useless. Long Chen's fist met Di Long's palm. As a result, Long Chen's arm deformed, breaking into an unknown number of segments. He wildly coughed up blood and was smashed into the ground. Di Long was about to say something after sending Long Chen flying when his expression completely changed. A burst of pain came from his palm, and he saw a black nail in it now. Ha 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 ha. Di Long, how's the taste of this nail? Half of Long Chen's bones were broken, but he still laughed wildly. He had intentionally looked like he had gone insane to bait Di Long into attacking. The nail had been hidden in his hand, and he had unleashed it the instant he had met Di Long's palm. Di Long was a nether passage expert, and this was his life and death domain. Everything here was under his control and none of Long Chen's actions could escape his senses. However, this nail didn't give off any fluctuations. Di Long hadn't sensed it and had been struck. This is. Di Long was shocked. His blood turned black in the blink of an eye. He was also shocked to find that he couldn't move. His entire body was rigid. Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others were also stunned. They saw Di Long's entire body turning black. He was emitting a strong air of death and all his vitality was fading. What is this? Di Long was infuriated. He had seen many things in his life, but he had never seen such a terrifying concealed weapon. His jaw suddenly cracked and fell from his head. It landed on the ground, transforming into black dust. Idiot. Do you think I'd tell you? Sneered Long Chen. But in truth, he was also shocked. He had known that this nail from the gates of hell should be terrifying. After all, when he had accidentally cut just the outer layer of his skin, to the point that he didn't even bleed, his finger had immediately turned pitch black. If it hadn't been for Evil Moon cutting off his finger, the consequences would have been too terrible to imagine. He hadn't expected that even a nether passage expert would be helpless against it. He had thought that it would simply cause Di Long some trouble and give Long Chen a chance to run. However, even a nether passage was unable to move once pierced by this nail. In just a breath, Di Long's body became covered in cracks, and his body fell to the ground piece by piece, transforming into black dust. How? How is this possible? roared Di Long. He tried to struggle, but he couldn't even move as his body shattered. His Yuan spirit couldn't escape either. His eyes gradually turned black like coal. With a bang, Di Long's body exploded transforming into dust. Chu Yao hastily summoned a wooden shield to protect everyone. However, this action was superfluous. The resulting dust of Di Long's body had no killing power. It was like ordinary dust. Damn, if I had known the nail is so amazing, I would have thought of a way to take down the entire door. Seeing Di Long actually be killed by this one move, Long Chen couldn't help but slap his own leg regretfully. If he had thousands of these nails, wouldn't he be unrivaled in the martial heaven continent? Just at this moment, Evil Moon's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. What kind of joke is that? Just taking a single nail almost cost you your life. You've already forgotten your lesson from that time. Furthermore, the nail might be powerful, but it requires an idiot of an enemy for it to be effective. He was careless, which is the only reason you managed to hit him with the nail. If he hadn't been so arrogant, you would have never been able to land the nail on his body. If the nail doesn't land, it's meaningless. Plus, that was just his clone, not his true body. Both his power and sense of danger were lacking compared to his true body. If it was his true body here, then no matter how well you schemed, he would have sensed the danger and you wouldn't have been able to strike him. In the end, this thing is an external object. 
you should consider how to raise your own power instead. It has already been so long, but your cultivation base hasn't advanced at all. Just what year are you planning on advancing to Life Star? Evil Moon's voice grew increasingly frustrated. As long as Long Chen's cultivation base didn't reach the Life Star realm, he wouldn't be able to undo its seal. That was what it wanted most of all. Aren't I busy? Fine. I know. When I get back, I'll immediately refine some pills to cultivate Long Chen truly felt that he should increase his power. His cultivation speed was too slow. They returned to the flying boat and continued onward through the ancient battlefield. When Meng Chi asked about the origin of the nail, she couldn't help sweating when she heard the story. She looked at Long Chen like he was a monster. To take a nail from the gates of hell, that was definitely not something a sane person would do. Only Long Chen would do something like that. They carefully advanced as the space around them was shuddering more intensely. They could vaguely hear terrifying roars and feel the intense battle of countless years ago. There were innumerable fallen spirits here. Even Long Chen felt a chill. There were many records about this battlefield, all saying different things. The ancient races, righteous path, Xuan beasts, and even the corrupt path had historical records of their ancestors participating in this ancient battle. But those records didn't match. This battlefield was sealed, with only one path through it. No one dared to actually enter the battlefield. The ancient battlefield had always been a mysterious existence. Just as Long Chen was controlling the flying boat to carefully advance, the channel ahead exploded, and a huge skeleton blocked their path. It was like a giant mountain floating in the sky, covering the sun. Chapter 1669 Furious D. Long Translator Born to be a huge skeleton appeared in the sky, emitting a tyrannical pressure that caused Long Chen and the others to jump in shock. They hastily brought the flying boat to a stop. This was the only path through the ancient battlefield. There was no other way. If they strayed from this path, they would become lost within the immense battlefield and never find their way out. Rumor was that the ancient battlefield was the result of peerless experts fighting at such a high level that they shattered the laws of the martial heaven continent. As a result, the fighting wills from that battle persisted all the way to the present, as not even the laws of time could wipe them out. Sometimes. Some strange scenes would appear within the channel, but it was forbidden to touch them. Under ordinary circumstances, they wouldn't affect people that much. The huge skeleton suddenly let out a bestial roar. Spatial fluctuations exploded out of it, sending the flying boat flipping back. Long Chen hastily controlled the flying boat to retreat. He did his best to make it retreat along their original path. Isn't it said that all the ancient battlefield's life forms died in battle? How can there still be one alive? Did it revive itself? Cried Tang wan -er. The skeleton was huge and looked similar to an earth dragon. However, its neck was very short, making the proportions wrong. Furthermore, it had six feet. It was unknown what kind of life form it was. It didn't revive, nor is it alive. This isn't even a real body. Although its body died, its will was not erased, said Long Chen gravely. This was an extremely shocking ability. It was clearly an incorporeal will that had condensed a body. That killing intent was not wiped out even after countless years. Just how terrifying was that? Following the giant skeleton's roar, more figures appeared. Flying birds. Walking beasts. Life forms with two wings on their backs. Giants 300 meters tall. One of those giants punched the skeleton, blowing it apart. However. The giant was then attacked from behind by a winged creature. Its head was cut off by a sword. Each of their attacks was simple and direct. One punch shook the heavens, while one sword fractured space. The laws of heaven and earth were all destroyed over and over. They fought fiercely for a moment before the scene grew chaotic. Space twisted, and they vanished from sight. How powerful. Even after so many years, their battle will still remains. A portion of their battle can even affect our generation. This is a kind of eternal power. Chu Yao was still filled with shock. If they said that what they had just seen was all an illusion, that wouldn't be entirely accurate. The terrifying battle had ended up breaking free of the restrictions of space and time to affect them in the current era. However, they also couldn't say that what they had seen was necessarily real. Whatever it was, it had vanished in just a moment. 
Just what happened in the ancient era? We still don't know, but it's fine. We'll reach that height sooner or later, and at that time, all those secrets will no longer be secrets. Long Chen clenched his fist. That scene just now was truly stunning. Although it had only appeared for a moment, it had made Long Chen feel incredibly minute. In that intense battle, each blow had destroyed the laws of heaven and earth, and Long Chen had felt himself to be an ant without the slightest ability to resist. That had stimulated his determination to get stronger faster. Once he returned, he definitely couldn't continue tarrying. He had to hurry up and increase his cultivation base. Long Chen then sent the flying boat forward carefully. They didn't encounter more strange sights on their way. Once they were out of the ancient battlefield, they sped up, flying for the eastern Xuan region. A-H-H-H. In a certain underground room in the central Xuan region, a row rang out, filled with rage and beast-like brutality. Long Chen, you dared to destroy my clone. This person was Di Long. However, it wasn't his clone, but his true body. Di Long's expression was twisted, and killing intent raged in his eyes. He was clenching his fists so tightly that they creaked. Di Long pushed open a stone door. When he walked out, two elders looked at him in surprise. Alliance head, why have you come out of seclusion so quickly? Di Long's true body had entered seclusion not too long ago. The one in charge of urgent matters had been his clone and his true body was not to be disturbed by anyone. These two elders were half-step nether passage experts. They were guarding this room to prevent anyone from disturbing Di Long. How is Di Shin? Di Long didn't reply. Instead asking a question, the heavenly spirit divine tree is currently absorbing young master Di Xin's death chi. Although he hasn't woken yet, the death chi has essentially been suppressed. Furthermore, We've already had someone from Heavenly Fate Island read Young Master D. Long's fate. He has escaped danger this time, answered one of the elders. That elder was curious. With D. Long's clone outside, all this information should have been known to him. After all, his true body's soul was linked to his clone's soul. Why did he need to ask? He didn't know that D. Long's clone had been destroyed by Long Chen. Although Di Long had immediately severed his connection to his clone when he was stabbed by the nail, he had been infected by a portion of its death energy. Hence, Di Long currently felt a needle-like pain in his head. Part of that pain was due to the nail, while another reason was the destruction of his clone. He had lost part of his soul with it. In this kind of situation, Di Long couldn't possibly cultivate properly. The destruction of his clone infuriated Di Long. He had never expected a soul transformation disciple to have the means to destroy his clone. He had taken a huge loss this time. Transmit my orders. The ancient family alliance is officially breaking off relations with the Martial Heaven Alliance. We are no longer allied, and both sides will mind their own businesses, announced Di Long. The two elders were shocked. Alliance head, that's not a good idea. We work together with the Martial Heaven Alliance to fight the corrupt path. If we break off ties, the corrupt path will immediately target us. The ancient family alliance might be said to be on equal standing with the Martial Heaven Alliance, but in terms of combat power, it didn't even have a third of the power of the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance was the sum of all the sects in the five great regions. Its total power was unimaginable. Compared to it, the ancient family alliance was clearly weaker. If they were to split off, the corrupt path would become the ancient family alliance's greatest threat. The two elders didn't understand Di Long's command especially since the devil abyss was about to erupt. If the ancient family alliance broke off ties with the martial heaven alliance at such a critical time, they would appear despicable. If the martial heaven alliance wasn't able to stop the devil race's invasion at that time, the devil creatures would slaughter countless innocent people on the continent. Wouldn't the ancient family alliance become a sinner in the eyes of the rest of the world? It's all the martial heaven alliance's fault. Hu Jin Ying is harboring Long Chen, destroying the unity of the continent. Leaving behind the bad apples in the righteous path is already a grave mistake. I won't allow my ancient family alliance to be ruined because of those bad apples. So it can't be called despicable. The wrong ones are Hu Jin Ying and Long Chen, not me. If Hu Jin Ying admits her mistake and kills Long Chen, we can still be allies and fight against the Devil Abyss together. Otherwise, 
she can only take responsibility for her own actions. Remember, people won't criticize us, but the Martial Heaven Alliances Ku Jianying and Long Chen. In any case, it isn't your job to care about those things. Just do what I say. I want to see how tough Ku Jianying really is, snorted Di Long. Yes, the two of them didn't dare to say anything else. They turned and left. They had just left when space twisted slightly, and a woman appearing to be in her thirties appeared. She possessed an inherent air of nobility. I want to see Long Chen's head within seven days. I won't allow anyone to harm Zinur. That Long Chen must die, said the woman gloomily. This woman was Di Zin's mother. Oh, your clone is gone? Could it be? Perhaps others might not be able to sense the change in Di Long, but she was Di Long's wife. Someone who had engaged in both spiritual and physical dual cultivation with him. She immediately sensed the change in his spiritual fluctuations. I was careless. That brat took out a special divine item to destroy my clone. Answer Di Long. Di Zin's mother looked at the unsightly Di Long and suddenly laughed. Di Long. Ah. Di Long. You really are blind. How did I end up falling for such a useless coward? That dreg of the Mo family is running around digging up graves in the western Xuan region. And even though you sent so many people to hunt him down, he's still living happily. Now your clone was not only slapped by Long Chen but even destroyed. If news of this spreads, will you still have the face to live? If I were you, I'd just kill myself. How can someone like you be the Alliance head? Shut up. Do you think I wanted this to happen? That brat of the Mo family refuses to show himself. He's too slippery. What can I possibly do against him? As for Long Chen, if it weren't for your precious son being duped by that slut Shen Bijin and being used, he would still be fine. It's all because you pampered him so much that he couldn't even see through such a simple trap. Now that I'm forced to stand up for him, how are you making it all my fault? Does your brain have a problem? Roared Di Long like an angry lion. His constrained emotions were finally erupting. It's all because you're useless. What qualifications do you have to randomly shout? If you could kill Long Chen with a wave of your hand, wouldn't things have been settled? Other than that, don't forget your status. If it weren't for my family's support, do you think your D family would have been able to snatch the Alliance head position from the Mo family? Keep dreaming. Everything you have was bestowed to you by my family. So it would be best if you remember that, without my family's support, you are nothing. Di Long, if you don't kill Long Chen, I'll tell my family just how useless you are as Alliance head. If I really feel like it, I might even suggest they support someone else, sneered Di Zin's mother before leaving. Di Long's entire body quivered as he looked in her direction. He smashed a fake mountain in front of his private room to pieces out of rage. Chapter 1670 Preliminary Scale Translator Born to be boss, you're finally back. Boss, you really are awesome. You even managed to handle those bastards in the southern Xuan region. Long Chen had just arrived at the gate when he saw the entire Dragonblood Legion waiting to greet him. Guo Ran was waving his hand, and his feet were dancing. How did you know? asked Long Chen. He, how did we know? The Alliance had sent a message over. Apparently, the Xuan Master got a tongue lashing, something about how the Zhuanshan Dao sect had always followed the norm until he took over. He clearly corrupted you, laughed Gu Yang. Ah, the Alliance had wrongly accused the Xuan Master. I was corrupt from birth, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't help feeling a bit bad for the Xuan Master, thinking of Ku Jin Ying's fiery temper. The Xuan Master had probably been cursed without daring to make a sound. After all, Ku Jin Ying's seniority was far above him. You brat, as long as you know that, it's fine. You caused so much trouble outside and ended up bringing it to me. Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out, causing everyone to jump. Li Xiangxuan also appeared at the gate. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry as he looked at Long Chen. Long Chen had only been gone for a few days but he had completely wrecked the southern Xuan region. Li Xiangxuan was fully convinced of Long Chen's ability to cause trouble. He was truly worthy of being a legendary existence. He, aren't we one family? I cause trouble. You handle it. What perfect cooperation said Long Chen. HMPH. Come in and have a look. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's construction is almost complete. 
Li Xiangsu and beckoned for them to come. Once beyond the gates, they let out startled cries. On the outside, the Zhuangshan Dao sect looked the same as ever, with tall mountains and flowing water. However, once they were in, they were immediately stunned by the mountains that pierced high into the clouds. Only now did they realize that there was a spatial formation covering this entire space. What they had seen outside was multiplied dozens of times. Stone steps coiled around the mountains, and those mountains all had special formations covering them, making them give off a heavy and majestic feeling. The dense spiritual chi struck Long Chen and the others as soon as they entered. The clouds and mist curling around the mountains made it seem like a wonderland. Those clouds weren't actually clouds, but the result of spiritual chi that had reached an extreme density. There were 81 main mountains, all the same size and arranged in a special formation that covered the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect. Each mountain had some busy workers doing things like arranging the formation's divine runes. They still weren't done with the construction. Heavens, this is so shocking. Tang Wan'er covered her mouth. It had just been a few months, but she no longer recognized the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It really is shocking. Even though I watch it rise day by day, I still feel shocked. Yu Zifeng nodded. This was everyone else's feeling as well. They had personally seen countless craftsmen working day and night. As they advanced, Long Chen suddenly looked at the staircase below them and said, Xuan Master. Isn't there supposed to be a formation supporting the staircase from below? Where's the formation cough? We'll discuss it later, said Li Xiangsuan awkwardly. Long Chen immediately realized that they had run out of money again. It seemed the difference between their initial estimate and the real cost was quite great. Continuous palaces appeared in the main area. At the core was a soaring tower and the largest building in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The Zhuangshan Tower. This giant reconstruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect was all linked together by a formation below, which made the Zhuangshan Dao sect one giant entity. There were countless formations drawing energy from heaven and earth, providing it to the Zhuangshan Tower. The Zhuangshan Tower could use that energy to nourish itself, as well as use it for offense and defense. This was a terrifying construction, one that was most definitely unmatched within the martial heaven continent. Li Xiangsuan brought Long Chen to various areas. He showed Long Chen the Alchemy Hall, the 10,000 Treasure Pavilion, the Cultivation Rooms, the Battle Arenas, the Zhuangshan Tower, and hundreds of other areas. Meng Qi and the others were stunned by everything they saw. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had completely transformed. As for Long Chen, he didn't feel that much. This was all based on the diagrams that he had given Li Xiangsuan, so he had been prepared. There were quite a few disciples along their path, and they said hello to Long Chen. They were very respectful to Li Xiangsuan, but to Long Chen, they were filled with wild worship. This was the charisma of an expert that won over both men and women. After a stroll through most of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, Meng Qi and the others were bedazzled, and they wanted to explore some smaller areas. As for Long Chen, he went with Li Xiangsuan to the Zhuangshan Tower. At the peak of the Zhuangshan Tower was the old patriarch. He was waiting for them with a smile. However, when he looked at Long Chen, that smile became a bit odd. It almost looked like a crying smile. Disciple greets the patriarch. Long Chen bowed respectfully. All right, there's no need to be so courteous to family. It's been hard on you this time. The patriarch had no idea what to say. So he simply followed common courtesy. It wasn't hard at all, said Long Chen politely. How could it not have been hard? You killed so many people. You must be tired, said Li Xiangsuan grumpily. He reached out to grab the teapot on the table. Long Chen immediately grabbed it first and poured tea for the three of them. He smiled. You also know that sometimes there's nothing that can be done. If I didn't kill others, they would have killed me. I'm quite afraid of death, so I could only kill them. Long Chen knew that Li Xiangsuan was irritated and sullen at having been scolded by Ku Jianying over his matter. Hence, Long Chen could only put on a smile. I understand you better than anyone. If you were to passively kill people, then it would have been fine. After all, it was for self-protection, and it wouldn't be all your fault. But, you shouldn't have slapped Di Long. You really are too brazen. That is even graver than killing all the southern Xuan region's disciples. 
If D Long doesn't avenge that slap, how is he supposed to face the rest of the martial heaven continent? Li Xiangxuan shook his head. When he had heard that Long Chen had slain all the elite disciples of the southern Xuan region, Li Xiangxuan hadn't been that surprised. After all, Long Chen was a heaven defier and rejected by this world. Other heavenly geniuses wouldn't like him and would want to find trouble with him. Long Chen definitely wouldn't go easy on those people. However, when he heard that Long Chen had slapped Di Long in the face, even Li Xiangxuan had become dumbfounded. To slap the face of the leader of the ancient family alliance, that was that was really heaven defying. Well actually, the slap isn't that big of a deal anymore sighed Long Chen. Little fellow, don't tell me you did something worse. Li Xiangxuan immediately felt a chill. It's not that bad. That Di Long is simply incurable. Despite being the leader of the ancient family alliance, he actually lowered himself to try and kill me on my way back here. I had no choice. So I used a nail that I brought back from the netherworld to hold him back. Originally, I thought that it could heavily injure him and win me a chance to escape. But who would have thought? Either the nail was too amazing or Di Long was too weak but his clone was killed by the nail. So, that really can't be blamed on me. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch gasped. You, killed, Di Long's clone. I didn't kill him. It was just his fate. It has nothing to do with me, said Long Chen. When Li Xiangxuan asked about the nail, Long Chen hesitated but still ended up telling them that it was something he had taken from the gates of hell. Long Chen felt that since Ku Jianying could retain her memories from before the gates of hell, the matters outside the gates of hell shouldn't be too forbidden. Li Xiangxuan and the patriarch were speechless. Long Chen's guts were too big. He actually dared to take a nail from the gates of hell? That wasn't something a normal person would do. However, when they heard of the nail's origin, they could understand how someone as powerful as Di Long had still lost a clone to it. After all, it was something from the netherworld. Don't spread word about this matter. I trust Di Long also won't say anything about it. After all, this is extremely embarrassing for him. Let's just all keep this to ourselves. However, this will probably make things harder on Senior Ku, sighed Li Xiangxuan. He understood the rules of the cultivation world far better than Long Chen. He knew that Ku Jianying was about to run into trouble. Long Chen didn't hear Li Xiangxuan's meaning behind his final sentence. He said, Xuan Master, have we run out of money again? Yes, I have no choice but to accept that this formation diagram is truly terrifying. The cost is just as terrifying as its power. If you didn't guarantee that there was no problem with that Xia Chen, I'd suspect he was intentionally trying to con us. We've already spent so much money on just building this preliminary form. There are still many formations that need to be built, and many other areas that need more money. Each time we restart building, our initial budget gets thrown out. Based on our current money, it seems we'll only be able to finish half. Li Xiangxuan felt a headache as soon as this was brought up. The further the construction went, the greater the cost. This is no problem. I've already reached an agreement with the Alliance head. For the Devil Abyss's eruption. The Zhuangshan Dao sect will handle the entire Eastern Xuan region's side. Then all the Eastern Xuan region's reward will go to us, said Long Chen. Are you really confident in that? The Great Era has come. The Devil Abyss is going to erupt at an unprecedented scale, warned Li Xiangxuan. Don't worry about it. This time, I'm more confident than any other time. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. He truly was full of confidence this time. This was the moment to collectively increase the Dragonblood Legion's power. Chapter 1671 Eliminating Spies Translator Born to be once Long Chen returned to the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The disciples blazed with passion. The news that Long Chen had crushed all the experts of the southern Xuan region had already spread throughout the sect once Long Chen returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain. He saw Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, Mu Qingxuan and Sumo the Zhuangshan Dao sect's karmic luck had grown explosively, and they had undergone a divine baptism, allowing them to become Empyreans. They and the newly joined Empyreans were at the bottom of Crouching Dragon Mountain to greet Long Chen. As for rank 9 celestials and below, they felt too inferior to even come and greet him. 
they were in the midst of hesitating over whether or not they should thicken their faces and come anyway when Long Chen had Guo Ran gather all the core disciples at the Soul Transformation Realm to celebrate. Those disciples went wild with joy. When Long Chen saw over a hundred thousand Soul Transformation disciples gather at Crouching Dragon Mountain, he jumped in shock. During the time that he had been gone, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had gained another large batch of disciples. One reason was because many people worshipped him. He was the number one person of the Eastern Xuan region's junior generation. No one else could cover up his light. To be in the same sect as him was a kind of glory in itself. Another reason was because of the massive scale of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's reconstruction. It was truly shocking. And to be able to join such a powerful sect would definitely give them limitless prospects. Even people from other regions were attracted by the Zhuangshan Dao sect's fame. Many people had only seen images of Long Chen fighting. Now that they saw him in person, they were impassioned. When Long Chen saw so many fiery gazes looking at him, his own emotions stirred. He saw the purest emotion in those eyes as well as the staunchest confidence. They worshipped him. People worshipped the strong, or perhaps what they worshipped was unrivaled power. Only by following such an expert could they also grow stronger. Anyone exceptionally powerful would definitely have geniuses following them. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were also impassioned. The reason they could follow Long Chen was mostly thanks to luck. The Dragonblood warriors who had joined him at the Zhuangshan Dao sect were the weakest disciples who had been abandoned by the others. Long Chen had felt pity for them, and he had helped them at a critical moment saving their lives and allowing them to reach their current height. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was filled with heavenly geniuses, but none of them could join the Dragonblood Legion. The original members were filled with pride and gratitude. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the Zhuangshan Dao sect this is our home. Those who sincerely join the Zhuangshan Dao sect are my brothers and sisters, and I will fight for all of you. Long Chen was also a bit emotional as he faced these passionate feelings. Those disciples' passion only grew as he spoke. They all knew about his history. He had risen from a small nation in the secular world of the Eastern Wasteland. Although he had been surrounded by enemies, not one of them could say that he didn't care about his people. Even his enemies had to admit he was a hot-blooded man. These disciples felt their own blood heating up just by hearing him speak. If you can raise your blades for me, I can also fight for you. I would sacrifice my life for my brothers and sisters. However, I won't allow anyone to betray me. I know many of you have come with your own intentions. As for who you are, I won't say anything directly now. The impassioned crowd grew cold. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, who would dare? Just point them out, and we'll tear them to pieces, shouted a disciple. Yes, we won't allow traitors amongst us. Those people are the worst. These disciples' confidence in Long Chen had reached a fanatical level. It was practically at the level where they would believe anything that came out of his mouth. Perhaps that was the blindness of worship. It caused people to lose their own ability to think as they stubbornly believed what they believed. Quite a few people's expressions changed slightly. They saw Long Chen's sharp eyes seeming to see everything in their heads. Long Chen waved his hand, making the angry people calm down. He said, Due to my special cultivation technique, I am very perceptive toward other people's hearts. I can sense whether a person has good or bad intentions toward me. Because of that, I can fully trust the brothers of my Dragonblood Legion, and they can trust me. We don't have the slightest suspicions toward each other. The people with ulterior motives. Have you ever seen any other group of over 10,000 people that would entrust their lives to each other without the slightest hesitation? I believe that you haven't. You haven't seen such a thing, nor have you ever heard of such a thing. If a single person amongst those 10,000 people was disloyal, it would completely fracture the entire group. However, there is no such person in my Dragonblood Legion. I will brag a bit and say that in this entire world, only I have the ability to form such a group. For those who joined the Zhuangshan Dao sect for your own purposes, I can ignore what you've done. In fact, I won't even expose you today. I will give you an opportunity. I know you were probably incited to do so by a loved one. Or perhaps you want to sell information for money. Or perhaps you want to instigate trouble to prevent the Zhuangshan Dao sect's growth. 
The reason isn't important. The important thing is that I'm giving you a chance. I don't care what sect sent you here as a spy, or whatever goal you have. As long as you can sincerely devote yourself to my Zhuangshan Dao sect today, then you will be one of my Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. No matter who is forcing you, my Zhuangshan Dao sect and I, Long Chen, will stand up for you. Long Chen's voice caused quite a few conflicted expressions to appear amongst the crowd. One disciple walked forward and said, Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, I've let you down. I am a spy sent from the Harmonic Phoenix Gate. The Gate Master had me stay here to provide him with information. I'm sorry. I suddenly, a black mark appeared on that disciple's forehead. It rapidly spread, covering his body like a spider web. It's a death contract. A woman cried out in shock as she recognized this curse. This kind of curse would make a person essentially a slave. If they went against orders, the curse would activate, taking their life. It was an incredibly sinister technique. That disciple clearly hadn't taken it willingly. Now that he went against it, he had signed his own death penalty. People were impressed by his bravery, as well as infuriated by what he had gone through. Long Chen pointed a finger at that person. The black mark that had been rapidly spreading reversed. Black Chi surged out of it toward Long Chen's finger, and Long Chen's arm began to turn black. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you can't. That disciple immediately cried out, wanting to pull away. However, Long Chen's finger had a powerful suction force that prevented him from doing so. All the disciples' hearts were pounding wildly. Long Chen was using himself to take the curse. That was because this kind of curse was extremely difficult to deal with. It could not be expelled because if it was forcibly expelled, it would kill that disciple along with it. Long Chen smiled. Since you could brave death and show your true feelings, how could I let you die? Don't worry, this little curse can't do anything to me. The black mark on the disciple quickly vanished. Long Chen raised his hand, and his spiritual strength surged. Black Chi was leaping chaotically around his hand. Meng Chi, help me out. Meng Chi nodded and formed a few hand seals. A spiritual rune appeared between her hands and fell on Long Chen's black palm. Buzz. That rune landed on the black chi, and a scene actually appeared within it. It revealed a skinny elder forming hand seals with a shocked expression. Gate master, that disciple immediately recognized the elder. Someone despicable enough to curse his own disciple can be called a gate master? Looks like you need to be smelted down and reforged anew. Get going. Long Chen looked at the bitterly struggling elder within the black chi. Long Chen's Yuan spirit appeared and pointed a finger. A ray of divine light shot into the black chi. No, that elder let out a single cry before his head exploded. His Yuan spirit died. This kind of contract was double-sided. Although one person was the victim and the other was in control, there was still a spiritual connection between them. Although Long Chen's spiritual strength was great, he wasn't skilled in soul arts. Meng Chi was the one capable of using the connection formed by the curse to form a bridge back to the elder. That elder wasn't even able to break the connection once she used it. Long Chen didn't give him any chance and killed him while he could only watch. Once that elder was killed, the black chi scattered. Lightning runes appeared on Long Chen's arm, and his originally black arm instantly returned to its normal color. Long Chen patted the disciple's shoulder. Congratulations. Starting now, you are a disciple of my Zhuangshan Dao sect as long as you are loyal to the Zhuangshan Dao sect. We will not let you down. Many thanks. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. I, that disciple knelt as thanks. In the future, he would no longer be a chess piece. However, Long Chen held him up, gravely saying, men shouldn't kneel so easily. Amongst brothers, this kind of etiquette is an insult. That disciple couldn't speak through his tears. There was no way for him to express his gratitude. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. I was also forced. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. I also have that on my body. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen. Please save me. Seeing that person being saved. Over a thousand disciples immediately began to cry out for Long Chen's help. Causing the others to jump in shock. There are actually this many. Chapter 1672 Strange Shadow Translator born to be the entire crowd became chaotic with quite a few disciples shouting.
Those disciples were forced to come to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and they had spent every day worried about being found, as well as the condemnation of their own conscience. That wasn't a good feeling, especially when they came across the warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. They could sense the Dragonblood warriors' absolute trust in each other and that made them feel even worse inside. They wished they could join the Zhuangshan Dao sect sincerely, but they couldn't. They also couldn't expose their identities, because while only some had spiritual contracts, another portion without the contracts might be heirs to other large sects. Because they were worthy of trust, they had been tossed into the Zhuangshan Dao sect without a spiritual contract. However, people had a selfish side, and who didn't want to be free? Who didn't want to always get stronger? No one was willing to carry the title of a treacherous spy. That was a stain to any expert. Long Chen had given them a chance to wipe away this stain, and they naturally wouldn't let such a chance pass. After today, they would be true disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It was like being reborn. Divine light from the Zhuangshan Tower enveloped Crouching Dragon Mountain. Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out. Don't panic. With the Zhuangshan Tower's protection, no one can harm you here. Those who have spiritual marks or contracts can come to the Zhuangshan Tower to be cleansed. As long as you have a sincere heart and are determined to fight for the righteous path to protect the martial heaven continent's peace and prosperity, then no matter which sect sent you here or what ulterior goals you had before, the Zhuangshan Dao sect is willing to forgive and forget. With even Li Xiangxuan and the Zhuangshan Tower expressing their attitudes, those worried disciples began to weep tears of emotion. This chance to wipe away their sins was something probably only the Zhuangshan Dao sect could give them. Disciples that had been hesitating also came forward now. A huge weight was lifted off their shoulders. It felt like they had been reborn. Over a thousand disciples went to the Zhuangshan Tower, with half having spiritual contracts. Those without spiritual contracts began to apologize to the surrounding disciples. Those disciples were at first indignant but they quickly accepted their apologies. After all, not everyone was free. There were countless reasons they did what they did. The disciples who did have spiritual contracts in particular must have had tough lives. Although they were talented enough, they had still been forced to accept such a spiritual contract. They had basically been chess pieces. Those disciples weren't blamed by others but were softly comforted. Long Chen, your cultivation technique is so amazing. It can actually distinguish who's harboring secret motives. Tang Wan'er softly whispered to Long Chen while holding his hand. She had a worshipful expression now. The current Long Chen truly appeared wise. It was like he was all-knowing, and his words were powerful and resonating. Ha! Huh, what's so amazing about it? Do you think everything someone else says is trustworthy? I was just lying, whispered Long Chen. Fortunately, things were chaotic enough that only Meng Qi. Chu Yao, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and a few others could hear them. They were all dumbfounded. It's not like I'm a god. How can I tell who's a good person and who's a bad person just like that? The only thing I can sense is someone's hostility when they want to kill me. That's something even you can sense. Since they just came to gather information and didn't have any obvious hostility toward me, how could I possibly tell who they were? This was just bait said Long Chen mischievously. Long Chen, you're evil. Meng Qi covered her mouth and laughed. Even they had been tricked. They really had thought that his cultivation technique could tell who was good and who was bad. Then boss, how did you know there would be this many spies? Gu Yang rubbed his head. Fool, this is just an unwritten rule. What sect doesn't have other people's eyes inside it? We have recruited so many disciples, so there should be spies among them. Ignoring everyone else. Just look at our own Xuan master. He has such an understanding of the major powers of the continent. Where do you think that information comes from? They finally understood. No wonder he said it was an unwritten rule. So everyone did this. It's impossible to get rid of all the spies. However, if we can clean up a portion of them, then that's good. Most likely, the rest are loyal to death to others. It's basically impossible to get them to expose themselves, said Long Chen. Then what do we do about them? Asked Guo Ran. What do we do? Why do we have to do anything? With the Xuan Master's intelligence, he'll find out who they are sooner or later. 
and he definitely won't expose them. He'll leave them so he can mislead them and send out fake news, using other people's chess pieces. He, when it comes to this, the Xuan master's the real evil one. I'm just a novice in comparison, laughed Long Chen. You're both evil. Fortunately, we're on the same side, said Tang Wan'er gladly. She found that other than cultivation, she didn't know anything. Long Chen and the Xuan master's scheming was so deep that they could kill their enemies without needing to personally fight. Once we tidy up some of them, the rest will easily expose themselves on the battlefield. For example, if a dog's fur glowed, it would be easier to see ticks. I've now made their fur glow, making it a bit easier for the Xuan master to find the parasites. If we don't know who they are, it will be difficult for everyone to fight with their full power. Well, there's no need to talk too much about it. Today's a good day, so let's properly celebrate with food and drink. We should boost our morale before the devil abyss erupts. I have to make sure we leave the Zhuanshan Dao sect with a powerful army protecting it, said Long Chen. Long Chen, you mean, Meng Chi and the others were startled. Pretty much. Our enemies are only growing stronger. The Zhuanshan Dao sect has helped us out immensely and is our home. However, we are like baby birds that will need to leave the nest one day to survive on our own. If we grow dependent on this nest, We'll likely implicate the Zhuanshan Dao sect one day. But before we leave, we have to leave behind a legend. A kind of will. A kind of feeling. A kind of energy. Something that makes people say that in this world, there is a supreme kind of conviction. And its name is the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen's eye sparkled with a determined light. No matter how much time passed. No matter what era passed. The Dragonblood Legion's trust in each other would never grow outdated. It would forever be passed down amongst people. There would be a new faith, called the legend of the dragonblood. Boss, you really are amazing at duping people. I have an urge to find a battlefield right now and kill until rivers of blood flow, said Gu Yang excitedly. Long Chen rolled his eyes. Gu Yang was never good with words. He had grown such a bright head for nothing. Everyone celebrated in Crouching Dragon Mountain for a day. Huge waves stirred in the Zhuanshan Dao sect due to Long Chen's return this time. That was because of Guo Ran's loud mouth. Originally, only a selected few plus the Dragonblood Legion had known what had happened during the Jade Lake pageant. But Guo Ran just couldn't hold back his gabbing. He directly narrated how Long Chen had shown his might in the southern Xuan region. On his own, he had slaughtered all the southern Xuan region's elite disciples. Not only that but he had dominated their senior experts as well. That was a supreme glory. Long Chen, what is it? Are you not happy? Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan'er were hiding in a corner, quietly watching Guo Ran continue bragging. Tang Wan'er had spoken up upon seeing Long Chen's expression. It's nothing. Long Chen smiled, but that smile was a bit forced. Long Chen, it wasn't your fault. The martial path is full of struggles. There's no person who's innocent, and there's no such thing as subduing enemies with unrivaled kindness. If you want to live, you have to be vicious. You had no other choice in that situation. Meng Chi held Long Chen's hand. She knew Long Chen was still brooding over that matter. However, in that critical moment, he really hadn't had any choice. If there was someone to be blamed, it would have to be Shen Bijin. If Long Chen hadn't been that vicious, Meng Chi and the others would have been in danger. Those people had been controlled by Shen Bijin. Long Chen had known that En had still killed them. There was no way to say whether his actions were right or wrong. But he couldn't help feeling uncomfortable inside. Seeing people celebrating this matter was what made him feel bad. Was the existence known as glory really so amazing? If killing wasn't to protect, then what was the point of getting stronger? In that instant, Long Chen suddenly felt a bit lonely. I'm fine. I just suddenly feel a bit tired. These merciless heavenly deos are always forcing me to be a killer, and I can't stop it. I feel like my fate is being played by a bored heavens. The feeling of being a dancing monkey is irritating. Long Chen looked up at the sky with a touch of fury in his eyes. It was Shen Bijin who had been so sinister and sly that she had arranged traps for Long Chen, which made it so he lost no matter what choice he made. The heavens were the same. Ever since he had stepped onto his cultivation path, he had felt like he was a chess piece. 
His path forward looked like it had many forks, many choices, but no matter what choice he made, he ran into incomparable difficulties. Long Chen, we'll worry about you like this. Chu Yao hugged his arm, leaning against his shoulder. They all knew that although Long Chen had slain Shen Bijin, Shen Bijin's sinister scheme had left behind a seed in Long Chen's heart. That was a dangerous seed. They didn't know if it would affect Long Chen. No one else could talk him around. Whether or not he could resolve this knot in his heart would be up to himself. I'm fine. I was just feeling a bit emotional. Starting tomorrow, the Dragonblood Legion has to go into collective seclusion to increase our power. Long Chen took a deep breath and expelled those thoughts. He had no time to consider those things. As long as he could protect those he wanted to protect. So what if he had to become a fiend? When that thought appeared in his mind, a strange shadow appeared on the Divine Gate Star. However, it only appeared for an instant before vanishing as if nothing happened, leaving no one the wiser. Chapter 1673 Making a Demonstration Translator Born to be the next day, Crouching Dragon Mountain was completely sealed off. It had its own special formation that, when activated, isolated it from the rest of the world. Unless someone used the Zhuanshan Tower, no one could enter or disturb them. Long Chen had gathered the entire Dragonblood Legion. After a night of rest, he was much more refreshed. This time, I obtained quite a few good things in a mysterious place. It will take you some time to digest them all. Long Chen took out a Blood Essence Stone and a Blood Soul Stone. The terrifying Blood Chi and spiritual strength that came out of them caused people to jump in shock. This is a blood essence stone and a blood soul stone. They can completely transform your bodies and souls, tempering them so that your Yuan spirits grow stronger and your bodies become more terrifying than magical beasts. Based on my tests, using the blood essence stone's energy to temper the body will have amazing effects, but the pain involved isn't something a normal person can endure. That's why I will first give everyone a demonstration Long Chen transformed into a ray of light that shot through the Dragonblood Legion, dragging out a quivering Guo Ran who had been hiding in the back like a chicken. Boss, I don't need that power. I'm just a forger. Don't waste the resources on me. Give my place to Gu Yang. Don't worry, there's enough energy for everyone. Guo Ran, remember, what supports your showing off is always bitter training. The suffering you go through today will become your bragging tomorrow. You'll thank me in the future. After saying that, he didn't give Guo Ran any chance to beg for mercy. He clapped a hand on Guo Ran's back, and Thunder Force immediately paralyzed Guo Ran. His arms stretched out involuntarily like a wooden puppet, and he received the Blood Essence Stone. Everyone, pay attention. Use your soul to guide one drop of blood out of the center of your palm and brand it with your spiritual mark. Remember, you must only use one drop, no more. Use that drop to form a bridge with the blood essence stone and slowly draw in its energy. Long Chen used Guo Ran as a demonstration as he pulled out a drop of Guo Ran's blood from his palm. Guo Ran's spiritual mark was placed on it, and then it slowly pressed against the blood essence stone. Boom. The instant Guo Ran's palm touched the blood essence stone, his sleeve exploded, and his skin split apart. Even the skin on his face split open, shocking everyone. The blood essence stone was like a volcano, while Guo Ran was a tiny little opening for it to erupt out of. Only a trace of its energy flowed out, but that little trace was enough to destroy mountains. If Long Chen wasn't supporting him, Guo Ran's current body would have already exploded. Guttural sounds were coming from Guo Ran's mouth, but he couldn't open his mouth, nor could he speak clearly. Don't talk. If you open your mouth, all your energy will try to rush there and your body will explode. Even the Patriarch wouldn't be able to save you then. Either you endure, or you die. Long Chen knew that Guo Ran wanted to beg for mercy, but Long Chen didn't give him any chance. Guo Ran was currently an Empyrean. His talent had been upgraded to be very amazing with limitless potential. However, Guo Ran was too lazy. Even with such amazing talent and potential, he wasted it. Without forcing him, he wouldn't cultivate. Everyone, watch carefully only once Long Chen said this did everyone recover from their shock and carefully examined Guo Ran. Guo Ran was covered in blood and looked like a mess. It was a frightening scene, but they then saw an even more shocking thing. 
Guo Ran's blood was constantly surging, with faint bubbles appearing in it. Guo Ran had fainted from the pain, but with Long Chen's spiritual strength surging through him, Long Chen forced Guo Ran's mind to still be wide awake. He had to make Guo Ran remember this process. Only then could Guo Ran have complete control of his body. The price of Guo Ran's laziness had to be repaid. Guo Ran had a feeling like death would be better than living now. It was a frighteningly painful torture. Long Chen pointed at Guo Ran's injuries. The blood there was becoming thicker, and it was an extremely strange sight. This is the blood essence energy of the blood essence stone. It has a strange ability. It can stimulate and refine your blood, expelling its impurities. It can also excavate the potential of your spirit blood. This process is very painful, but you have to endure. You can't faint. During this process, your nerves will form their own kind of memory, allowing you to control the power of bloodline better in the future. Boss, Guo Ran is frothing at the mouth, exclaimed a dragon blood warrior noveloon.com It's fine. He'll get used to it quickly. Long Chen looked at Guo Ran firmly. This was just an instinctual reaction and nothing major. He had long since told Guo Ran that there were no shortcuts to cultivation. If he was lazy now, it would be a debt he had to repay in the future. This debt was something that he would have to pay as long as he didn't die. However, Guo Ran refused to believe him and always tried to think of some way to escape during his tribulations. With Long Chen keeping an eye on him, Guo Ran hadn't had any chance to be lazy, but in the last tribulation, Long Chen hadn't been present. This little fellow had definitely played dead at that time, or there wouldn't be so many impurities in his spirit blood. It also wouldn't be so painful for him now. Boss Guo Ran's blood is starting to glow. After an incense stick's worth of time, Guo Ran's blood stopped flowing out. His blood vessels had already recovered, and what flowed inside them was now a richer red that had some faint luster to it. It was dazzling, and it emitted its own bursts of power. This is the power of spirit blood? I thought only the most ancient bloodlines can have such power, exclaimed a dragon blood warrior. Everyone had spirit blood and their own bloodline pressure. However, for most people, they were so weak that they might as well not exist. There were very few people capable of using their bloodline pressure to suppress other people's auras. Only people from extremely ancient and powerful inheritances could possess such power. Such figures were rare. Most geniuses used the pressure of their manifestations to suppress their opponents. By the soul transformation realm, there was practically no one who would use such a bloodline pressure. It was different from the pressure of the heavenly deos. The pressure of a bloodline was even more direct and tyrannical. If the pressure was strong enough, then without even needing to do anything, you could cause your opponent's blood to explode inside them. After a while, Guo Ran's injuries fully healed. Guo Ran's body was now releasing a terrifying bloodline power that made everyone else's hearts shake. However, he was still twitching and frothing at the mouth. His eyes had rolled into the back of his head. It looked like he was having a seizure. Long Chen released Guo Ran, allowing him to collapse on the ground. Gu Yang apologetically said, Boss, it was my mistake. Last time, I got soft-hearted and let Guo Ran be lazy. Last time. They had undergone their collective tribulation in the spirit world. Gu Yang had controlled the tempo of the lightning. However, Guo Ran's ability at acting dead was extremely skillful, and Gu Yang had thought that Guo Ran had really reached his limit. So Gu Yang had let him faint. If Guo Ran had endured longer during that tribulation, it wouldn't have been so painful on him today. It's all this little fellow's own fault. Toss him to the side. His debt can only be paid by himself. No one else can help him. Long Chen shook his head. A few dragon blood warriors carried Guo Ran to the side. Even at this time, he couldn't be allowed to faint, or it would leave behind a flaw. Just as they were carrying Guo Ran away, he suddenly let out a furious roar. He grabbed one of them and slammed him onto the ground. That dragon blood warrior was taken by surprise and was knocked out. Fuck. Boss Guo Ran. Have you gone insane? The other dragon blood warriors cried out in shock. Guo Ran's eyes were now scarlet like a rampaging beast. One of the dragon blood warriors grabbed onto Guo Ran from behind, holding him tight. But he never expected Guo Ran to have so much power that Guo Ran easily broke his arms and knocked him flying. Guo Ran's power was overflowing. 
Some of you, go test him out. Guo Ran has gone crazy from the pain. Check how much his power has grown. Long Chen was very calm. He was just a bit surprised that even Guo Ran, who had always possessed the weakest physical body, could instantly become this powerful. It had to be known that without his armor, Guo Ran was the weakest existence within the entire Dragonblood Legion. Any random Dragonblood warrior could crush him. However, now even a dozen Dragonblood warriors couldn't knock him down. Those Dragonblood warriors were using their physical strength to try and hold him down. But Guo Ran's power was like a magical beast's. His power had multiplied dozens of times. He was like a madman, randomly kicking and punching. He even bit one of the Dragonblood warriors on the butt, causing him to cry out in pain. This kind of crazy state was temporary and merely a result of the immense pain that he had been in. Long Chen knew that Guo Ran would be fine once he had a chance to release his energy. However, it seemed the Dragonblood warriors holding him down would have to become victims. They were all shouting for help. Dozens of them formed a human pyramid crushing Guo Ran beneath them. Even then, they were unable to suppress him. So more piled on him. Eventually, Guo Ran was unable to struggle and passed out. Brother, your butt has suffered. But this sacrifice was worth it for boss Guo Ran. One of the squad leaders patted the poor dragonblood warrior who had been bitten. Long Chen laughed. You should thank your luck that you weren't lying on your back. Otherwise, he, that dragonblood warrior instantly shivered when he thought of that possibility. Alright. So now you know the effect and how to use the blood essence stone. Now, Meng Chi will teach you how to use the blood soul stone. Pay attention. The devil abyss is about to erupt. So our time is limited. We have to do everything we can to get stronger. Said Long Chen gravely. Chapter 1674 Arrogant Guo Ran Translator. Born to be boom. Gu Yang's arms deformed and he coughed up a mouthful of blood as he smashed into the ground. No. I'm done. Guo Ran. This isn't exchanging pointers. You just wanted to torment me. Gu Yang put away his manifestation and the runes around his body dimmed. Blood still dripped out of his mouth. He, Gu Yang, now you can't torment me. I, Guo Ran, am finally a real badass. Ha ha ha. Guo Ran was covered in golden armor. He was standing in the air, waving two sabers. Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Gu Yang had found a private place for Guo Ran to test his new power. He had naturally chosen Gu Yang as an opponent. After the baptism of the Blood Essence Stone, Guo Ran was finally capable of unleashing the power an Empyrean should have. Then when he added on his armor, his power rose to a monstrous level. Gu Yang had used his full strength but hadn't been able to receive even three of Guo Ran's attacks. A typical case of a brat who forgets the pain after the scar fades. If it weren't for boss, I could definitely still crush you, said Gu Yang irritably. Before, even if Guo Ran's killing power had been above Gu Yang. In a one against one fight, since Gu Yang knew Guo Ran's tricks, he would still be able to beat Guo Ran in his armor. However, now Guo Ran's power had grown explosively, and Gu Yang was instantly beaten. Seeing Guo Ran's petty and pleased appearance, Gu Yang was naturally irritated. Haha, <laughs> that's because boss is wise and knew I lacked the daring of a brave fighter. My gratitude toward boss overflows like a torrential river, like the endless stars in the sky. Guo Ran landed and removed his armor, smiling. His goosebump raising flattery streamed out of his mouth. You don't need to be too thankful to me. The blood essence stone was just one part. When you absorb the blood soul stone, I'll make sure to help you out just like last time. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. That expression seemed to say, I look favorably upon you. Boss, I'm just a forger. I don't need that much soul energy. I feel like I already have enough. Guo Ran began to back up, but Long Chen grabbed him. Just look at how cowardly you are. What are you afraid of? The Blood Soul Stone will allow you to recondense your Yuan spirit, and it will feel like you're advancing to spirit transformation again. I was just scaring you a bit. Anyway, getting back to business. Can you turn this thing into a weapon? Long Chen took out a strange triangular blade. What what is this? Guo Ran jumped in shock. The ice cold feeling from this blade almost froze his soul. This blade was something Long Chen had obtained in purgatory. It was the weapon of the Skinners. However, for some reason, 
After he brought it back, he found that their power had sharply dropped. They didn't have the same effect as in purgatory. He could touch it as much as he pleased without feeling the pain from back then. However, even if he could touch them, if it was stabbed into someone's body, then even if they were an Empyrean, they would stiffen. The strange energy within it caused incomparable pain and would make people lose their ability to react temporarily. Unfortunately, this triangular blade was too strange and almost looked like a carpenter's tool. The handle was a circular arc with two hooks, let alone using this in battle. Just holding it wrong would injure the user. This strange weapon could only be used by the skinners with their strange arms. That was why Long Chen wanted to see if Guo Ran could change it a bit. I can try. Guo Ran's eyes immediately began to blaze with a fiery light. He summoned his forging table and activated the smelting tool. However, curiously, the triangular blade didn't change color no matter how he roasted it. Even after an hour, it was still ice cold. The three of them were all dumbfounded. Just what kind of material was this? After six hours, the triangular blade finally reddened from the heat. However, at the same time, strange black marks appeared on it. Guo Ran carefully placed it on his forging table and tried to see if he could change its shape. His hammer smashed down and sparks flew. The blade instantly exploded into sharp fragments that shot out in every direction. Those sharp fragments instantly pierced Long Chen, Guo Ran, and Gu Yang. Gu Yang let out a howl. The pain in his body was intense, but it was the pain in his soul that was unbearable. It was like countless needles were stabbing it. There was no way to express it with words. That pain was enough to kill someone. Long Chen also felt the pain, and his veins bulged as he forcibly resisted it. He formed a few hand seals, and those fragments were forced out of his body. He then slapped Guo Ran in the back. Guo Ran's body shook as those fragments were forced out of his body. As the closest one, he had been struck by the most. He had lost consciousness from the pain. Only once he forced the fragments out of Guo Ran did Long Chen go to help Gu Yang. It was a whole hour before Guo Ran woke up. Boss, I almost died there. What the hell is this thing? Guo Ran was still shivering. Once those fragments had stabbed his body, he had been frozen, unable to move. He had felt like millions of blades were cutting his body and soul. That profound feeling of helplessness was truly horrifying. How could I know? The things found in the netherworld aren't even written in books. Fuck. It really is painful. Said Long Chen hatefully. That feeling just now was truly terrible. No wonder the Skinner's victims would scream like that. This thing's too dangerous. And it also targets a person's will. Without strong enough willpower. A person would immediately submit to the pain and be unable to resist. Even now, Gu Yang was still pale. But it had to be said that his willpower was far stronger than Guo Ran's. Even without Long Chen's help, Gu Yang had been able to force out the fragments. Boss, my parents taught me not to play with dangerous things. I feel like we should just give up on it. Guo Ran had almost died. So he immediately turned coward, not daring to touch it again. Do you not feel like you're stupid right now? What are you so afraid of? Where's your armor? Demanded Long Chen. Oh, right. Guo Ran clapped his leg. He summoned his armor. This way, he wouldn't be injured at all by the blades. Suddenly, Gu Yang picked up a two-inch fragment and stabbed his own palm. Gu Yang, you're crazy. Even if you can't beat me, you don't have to kill yourself. Exclaimed Guo Ran. Gu Yang slowly took out the fragment. Just one piece isn't that intense. I can endure it. We should distribute these fragments to the dragon blood warriors. They can use the pain to temper their will and reaction speed. It'll be useful in future battles. Long Chen nodded. That was a good idea. If a person's soul could resist this level of pain, then any attacks involving a spiritual aspect would be less effective on them. This was a good way to raise their resistance toward soul cultivators. If they could become completely immune to this kind of spiritual pain, it would be very difficult for anyone to affect their souls. Back then, the reason Shen Bijin could control so many people at once was because those so-called heavenly geniuses didn't have very great willpower. Just as Gu Yang and Long Chen were discussing the details of this plan, Guo Ran's hammer smashed onto those fragments, causing them to explode again. Fuck. Gu Yang and Long Chen both cursed. 
This little brat was safe and now didn't care about them. They both dodged. But while Long Chen was fast enough, Gu Yang was a hair slower and stabbed in the leg. Boss Gu Yang, this is a kind of tempering. I know you can handle it. Guo Ran was sorry, but he shamelessly made his tone one of encouragement. Guo Ran, put down your hammer. Can you make this into a weapon or not? Asked Long Chen. I don't think I can. This thing is completely immune to my forging arts. No matter how I try it, it explodes. However, when it comes to conning others with it, it should be useful. I'll make them all explode and then add them to my bombs. He, that power should definitely be good. I can even add some of those pieces to my armor. Guo Ran laughed excitedly. All right then, I'll leave these to you. Long Chen took out 6,000 of the 8,000 triangular blades and chains that he had in the primal chaos space, giving them to Guo Ran. Boss, you have so many? Then I'll have to properly plan on what to do with them. Guo Ran was both excited and startled to see so many of them. He loved strange oddities. These things aren't too important. Let me show you a diagram first. Remember, the space inside has to be extremely great and the interior must be made of jade or ceramic. Long Chen took out a diagram he had come up with. Guo Ran looked at it for a long time. He curiously said, Boss, why does this thing look so familiar? It looks like a spray bottle. That's right, it's a spray bottle. I just changed its form a bit. You don't need to care about it for now. Just build it according to my specifications. Remember, make sure there's enough space inside and enough spraying power said Long Chen. All right, that's not difficult. I can make it very quickly. As for these treasures, are they really all mine to play with? Guo Ran pointed to the blades and chains. Take them as your weapons. As long as you leave a few for Gu Yang's plan to temper the dragon blood warrior's souls and willpower, the rest are yours. Long Chen waved his hand, letting Guo Ran get to work. He also had Gu Yang take charge of the blood soul stones and blood essence stones. After arranging that, Long Chen went into an underground cultivation room. He wanted to see how Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were doing with absorbing the earth essence. Chapter 1675 Are there really gods? Translator, born to be crouching dragon mountain was a giant existence, but its interior was hollow and filled with special formations. The cultivation rooms built especially for the dragon blood legion were located inside. They were all built using the best possible standards. It could be said that Li Xiangxuan had spent a great deal of money and effort on the Dragon Blood Legion. Just the resources that had gone into Crouching Dragon Mountain were practically equal to what he had spent on every other disciple in the sect. Li Xiangxuan did this to help Long Chen. Long Chen was doing his best to gather money to reconstruct the Zhuanshan Dao sect. So Li Xiangxuan had to arrange the best for the Dragon Blood Legion so Long Chen didn't have to worry about things back home. This was also why Li Xiangxuan had the Dragon Blood Legion be an independent entity. He kept crouching Dragon Mountain secluded and didn't let disciples look around inside. Even if they knew how good things were inside, they would only feel envy or admiration. But Li Xiangxuan's main goal was to maintain a sense of mystery. This was more favorable to Long Chen. A sect needed an idol-like figure to let its people. That person not only needed to have immense combat power, but also great intelligence and a certain charisma that others couldn't resist. Long Chen checked off all those requirements, but he didn't like that feeling of being above others and being worshipped. Idols required a sense of mystery around them and needed to distance themselves from their worshippers. However, Long Chen didn't like to do that. So it was up to Li Xiangxuan to think of ways to create that feeling. Sometimes, it was just like this. Perhaps a person wouldn't be particularly strong, but by standing at a higher spot, others could only look up to them and naturally feel a sense of worship. This was also why the position of emperor always surpassed the ministers. It was a mental suggestion. Li Xiangxuan's skill in controlling other people's hearts had easily achieved the pinnacle. That was why when Long Chen invited the other disciples to come to Crouching Dragon Mountain, they already felt that it was an immense honor. However, Li Xiangxuan definitely wouldn't allow those disciples to see the cultivation regions the Dragon Blood Legion used. He gave those disciples more room to imagine the possibility that was beneficial to the Dragon Blood Legion's mystique. 
At the core of Crouching Dragon Mountain was a huge space. This was the most lavish cultivation room in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. There were over a hundred spirit gathering formations, as well as others. Even Li Xiangxuan's own seclusion room wasn't so extravagant. This cultivation room had been specially built for Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan knew that Long Chen needed to both cultivate and refine pills. So this room was very large. Large enough for Long Chen to mess around in. It was currently occupied by Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. The earth essence was hanging up in the sky. Divine light shining around it. Ripples were spreading out of it. When Long Chen arrived, he jumped in shock at the scene he saw. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were encased in a thick layer of dirt. They were like earthen statues. And they didn't have the slightest air of life. It was like they had already died. They've entered a quasi-death state. But while their bodies seem dead, their souls are growing increasingly powerful. This earth essence really is worthy of being the head of the four major essences in the Jade Lake Sacred Land. Fortunately, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan are absorbing it together. Or if it was just one of them, the amount of energy would probably make them explode. Explained Meng Qi. Meng Qi was guarding this place to prevent any accidents from occurring during this process. Once those two come out, their combat power will probably even surpass mine. Long Chen nodded. The earth essence had been so powerful that it had destroyed Di Long's attack. If the two of them could fully absorb its energy, they would definitely be reborn. If they joined hands, they could probably defeat the entire Dragon Blood Legion, with even Long Chen having to avoid them somewhat. You really do need to focus on upgrading yourself. Ever since the battle in the Grand Han, your cultivation base hasn't grown at all. Don't waste any more time. Don't slow down your own cultivation because of us. Meng Chi reached out and helped tidy Long Chen's robes. Her voice contained a slightly scolding tone. Long Chen's current cultivation base was too low. His combat power had also not advanced very much. It was all because he was spending so much time on the Dragon Blood Legion. He, time spent honing a blade isn't a waste. As long as you all get stronger, I won't even need to personally do anything. I'll just shout, Guo Ran, bite him and everything will be handled, laughed Long Chen. Men Chi immediately laughed, but she rebuked, don't be so mean to Guo Ran. The whole biting someone's butt last time has become a sore point for him, even now. He's embarrassed whenever it's mentioned so that little fellow also knows how to be embarrassed? That doesn't sound like his style. It seems he needs to keep thickening his skin. In the future, we'll just directly shout. Everyone retreat and close the gates. Release Guo Ran. HMPH. I'm being serious. It's not good to be so mean to Guo Ran. Long Chen pulled Meng Chi out of the cultivation room. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had already entered a stable state and didn't need anyone looking after them. As they walked, he said, You don't understand that little fellow. Once he gets arrogant, his ego will get completely inflated. That's why occasionally giving him a blow is a must. Otherwise, no place in the martial heaven continent would be able to accept him. But you know, after this, he will probably make a name for himself on the continent. I have to work hard too or he might place his sights on me and want to beat me like he did Gu Yang. Long Chen couldn't help feeling emotional. Guo Ran's current physical body was only on the level of an ordinary Empyrean. It wasn't particularly outstanding, but when he wore his armor, his power was horrifying. Even Long Chen, if he didn't rely on a divine item, would only barely be able to suppress him with his full power. However, that was excluding that little fellow's sinister moves. Having given him so many of those blades and chains, it was unknown what kind of evil moves he would come up with. Long Chen no longer had any assurance of being able to put Guo Ran in his place. Although Guo Ran was his loyal follower and definitely wouldn't betray him, having to watch him show off all day was definitely unbearable. So he had to suppress him a bit while he could. Ah, speaking of which, Zifeng said that he doesn't want the Blood Essence Stone or the Blood Soul Stone. He refused no matter how I advised him. Do you want to talk to him? Asked Meng Chi. Everyone was currently undergoing the baptism of the blood essence stone and then using the blood soul stone to condense their Yuan spirit a second time. Yu Zifeng had refused both those opportunities. No need. Zifeng walks a different path from us. Helping him would be harming him. 
He knows his own path much better than us, so there's no need for us to worry about him, but his physical body and spiritual strength are both lacking. Although his attacks are sharp, he has essentially zero defensive power. Only knowing how to attack and not defend is a fatal weakness. Long Chen smiled. That's why I said you don't know his path. Have you heard this saying in the secular world? The sword is a simple tool, with a three feet blade, half a foot hilt, and a sheath that covers its entire edge. Why is that way? I actually don't know. When the sword is in motion, it represents its killing power. At that time, it has no need for defense. Its edge is something no one can block. Only when it is still can it be attacked. That's the most dangerous time for it, which is why it has its sheath. Yu Zifeng is a sharp blade. He knows his strongest point is his offense, so he has abandoned his defense, making his offense unstoppable. As for defense, he has no need of it, because I, you, and every last dragonblood warrior can be his sheath. Why would he need to waste his time on that? Explained Long Chen. Men Chi nodded. Yu Zifeng had sacrificed his defensive power to make his offensive power incomparably sharp. Within the same realm, all his enemies were killed with essentially one attack. In the Dragonblood Legion, he was second only to Long Chen in terms of offensive power. However, raising his soul and physical strength is only beneficial. He could focus that power on his offense as well. Couldn't he? Asked Meng Chi. It's because Yu Zifeng is a sword cultivator. In his heart. There is only the sword, nothing else. That is his firm and fanatical conviction. He feels that as long as he comprehends the sword Tao, he can one day arrive above the heavenly Deos. In fact, I feel like he has achieved some kind of enlightenment, or his conviction wouldn't be so strong. What kind of enlightenment? I'm not sure. But I would guess it has something to do with the legendary sword god. Yu Zifeng had finally returned from the heavenly sword gate but his temperament had completely changed. There was a firm conviction in his eyes now that no one could shake. Perhaps Yu Zifeng should now be called a sword fool, a sword fanatic. Are there really gods in this world? Asked Meng Chi. Perhaps there are. Perhaps there aren't. Perhaps the term god is just a name. I once asked the same question of Senior Yun Shang. At that time, Senior Yun Shang only smiled faintly and didn't reply. However, I saw a touch of disdain in his smile or perhaps a kind of contempt. In any case, it doesn't seem like he has a high opinion of them. Long Chen sighed. Back then, he had managed to speak to one of the sovereigns that had once shaken the continent. However, Sovereign Yun Chang hadn't given him any useful information. Don't bother Zifeng. No matter what happens, he's our trustworthy brother. He wants to walk the path of offense. In that case, we'll protect his path. Using offense as defense is also a kind of unstoppable Tao. Zifeng will become our Dragonblood Legion's strongest sword warrior. Long Chen smiled. Guo Ran's so happy that he's forgotten his name. While Gu Yang is using the Blood Essence Stone to temper his body, he focuses on his bloodline and physical strength in the first place. So he'll become a real monster after this tempering. There's no need to say anything about Li Qi and Song Mingyuan who are also going to be monsters after absorbing the Earth Essence. Everyone's getting stronger, but you're still where you started. Aren't you afraid of getting thrown behind? I should warn you that one is quickly merging with the wind energy and rapidly improving each day. Be careful of her bullying you like you bullied her before. I definitely won't be helping you at that time, warned Meng Qi. Everyone's strength is my strength. Their improvement is my improvement. My greatest dream is to have a bunch of unstoppable fighters. By then, if someone gets cocky in front of me, I won't even have to do anything. I can just point and have them beaten to the point where their mothers wouldn't recognize them. Laughed Long Chen. Seeing Meng Chi glaring at him, he hastily added, It was a joke. Everyone's getting stronger. So I also have to go into seclusion. Furthermore, I have a very brazen idea. I'll give you all a pleasant surprise when the time comes. Chapter 1676 Celestial Lightning Body Blink Translator Born to be Long Chen had a truly brazen thought. When he had subdued the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, he had thought of a certain diagram. That was a diagram he had almost forgotten about. Back in the Eastern Wasteland, he had entered the Immemorial Path and obtained the diagram. 
He had asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell, but it had refused to tell him too many details, saying that his cultivation base was too low. It merely said it was a kind of essence of one of the four major elements. Afterward, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had repaid Long Chen for his help and disappeared. The matter of the diagram was left forgotten and unsettled. However, when he had worked together with the Pill Fairy to subdue the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, he happened to glimpse a diagram on the ceiling of the underground palace. That diagram was somewhat similar to the diagram from the immemorial path. Regretfully, he hadn't had time to record it at that time. Shen Bijin had come, and then the palace had exploded. However, it had served as a reminder. He was now a soul transformation expert and no longer the same rookie as back then. If the Eastern Wasteland Bell refused to tell him, he could try to see if he could understand it himself. Long Chen found himself a private room. However, before entering seclusion, he moved the divine lightning he had swallowed during his tribulation into the primal chaos space. Lai Long had never managed to fully refine this divine lightning. However, after being suppressed for so long, the destructive will of the divine lightning had been erased, leaving behind its pure energy for Lai Long to absorb. Once the lightning was moved, his stomach was free to digest an ocean's worth of medicinal pills. Huo Long was busy refining the Black Illusion Dragon Flame's berserk energy, but Long Chen asked it to first help him refine some soul transformation pills. To raise his cultivation base, he would need a huge amount of medicinal pills. Suddenly, Long Chen thought of the Jade Tablet he had obtained in the Jade Lake Sacred Land around the time he had killed Wang Shan. He had yet to investigate it. Celestial Lightning Body Blink? It's actually a lightning attribute movement art. Long Chen was stunned. What was recorded in the Jade Tablet was an extremely ancient lightning movement art. By summoning the power of heavenly lightning to form a lightning domain, you could freely blink anywhere inside with just a thought. There were basically no spatial or temporal limits. Damn. I've actually obtained a similar movement art as the human-shaped lightning right before the Devil Abyss erupts back when the Zhuanshan Dao sect's infernal Devil Abyss had erupted. Long Chen had summoned his heavenly tribulation to block the tide. In the end, there was a certain human-shaped lightning that had appeared. Its speed had been incredible, and it was only thanks to a reminder from Li Xiangxuan that he had managed to defeat it. This movement art recorded in the Jade Tablet might be a different method but it had the same result. By filling the space around him with thunder force, he would arrange spiritual runes that could each be used as a tiny lightning transportation formation. In truth, this kind of ability wasn't speed-based. It depended on using a kind of spatial law. Previously, in order to raise his speed to its peak, he had come up with his own technique and called it the lightning flash step. He filled a space with thunder force. However, his technique relied on creating spatial faults and then charging through those openings to appear in a corresponding exit within a 3,000 meter area. Back in the Grand Han, he had used the lightning flash step to kill Sha Guangyan and Yi King Kuang. However, not only was the lightning flash step's range limited, but when he encountered true experts who were unleashing all their power, their power would compact space and make any spatial faults he made unstable, so he couldn't use it. On the other hand, the celestial lightning body blink formed a network of spatial channels with lightning runes. It was like a giant web with runic nodes that he could freely move through. Seeing this technique, he finally understood why that human-shaped lightning had been so difficult to deal with. The wisdom of the ancients truly isn't something I can compare to. I didn't even think of such a method. I'm so stupid. Long Chen was filled with admiration and shame. He had racked his brain before, but had never thought of using lightning runes to form spatial channels to increase his speed. This celestial lightning body blink was like a light in the dark. It was like he was seeing a whole new sky. It was extremely enlightening to him. I really struck gold this time. That bastard Wang Shan. I suppose he did at least one good thing before dying. Long Chen couldn't help sighing emotionally. If it hadn't been for Wang Shan he wouldn't have obtained this jade tablet. When it came to killing someone innocent to take their treasure, he really couldn't do it. The more he studied this technique, the greater his admiration for the creator grew. At the same time, 
he realized that creating any masterful magical art required being skilled in many different areas. This celestial lightning body blink, at the very least, involved changes in thunder force, cooperation with spiritual strength, comprehension of spatial magical arts, and the principles of establishing a formation. A magical art that had truly reached the pinnacle required endless revision, effort, and great intelligence. The celestial lightning body blink could only be used by lightning cultivators, and any other lightning cultivator would require a long time to train in it. However, Long Chen instantly mastered it due to his previous research into the lightning flash step. There were definite similarities between them, allowing him to learn it easier. Furthermore, his spiritual strength was so vast that he didn't need to slowly and carefully study each part of it for fear of his spiritual strength running out midway and having the magical art explode in his face like others. There was also one other aspect that made it so easy to learn, and that was that his thunder force came from Lai Long. Lai Long could help him control his thunder force. In truth, it would be Lai Long creating the lightning formation, and he just had to know how to use it. It could not be simpler for him. Long Chen handed the celestial lightning body blink to Lai Long and had it go study it. When the time came, he would just have to have his spiritual strength coordinate with it. This kind of lazy method was something that would make other lightning cultivators die of envy. It was practically as easy as eating a meal for Long Chen. After tossing the celestial lightning body blink to Lai Long, Long Chen took out that strange rune from the immemorial path. It was a strange octagonal diagram. Eight lines merged together in the center to form a central circle. There were also other thin lines coming out of the exterior and spinning around it, like waves of divine light. Before, Long Chen couldn't understand anything about it. However, now he felt his aura gathering just by looking at it. It's too bad my cultivation base was too low to understand this rune's meaning when I saw it back then. Now, just looking at this recording of it, it's much harder to understand its essence. Side Long Chen. A ball of fire appeared in Long Chen's hand. Flame runes condensed together as Long Chen tried to imitate the design of the diagram. When it was done, he suddenly felt an invisible energy concentrating at the center. It was like streams of power were gathering together. Boom. The flame rune in his hand exploded, and its immense power made his hand shake. This is. Long Chen was startled. He had just used the slightest trace of flame energy, but its explosive power had been so immense. The Eastern Wasteland Bell said that it was the will of one of the four major elements. It seems it's the fire element. Fire. Fire can burn down the heavens and the earth. It is berserk and merciless. Energy gathers within and then explodes outward. When condensed, it can refine the sky and the land. When scattered it can destroy stars. Between the two is a cycle of energy. Gather energy to one point, and when the energy reaches its peak, release it in an instant to exterminate all life. Long Chen seemed to be sleep-talking as he faced this enlightenment. The flame rune once again condensed in his hand, but this time he was prepared and examined it closely. He found that when this rune was condensed, it formed a strange cycle. Without him needing to do anything, it seemed to possess its own life, absorbing energy from the air. Eight streams of energy gathered toward the central point. There were several bright spots at the center like the pistils of a flower, absorbing that energy. A portion of the energy then flowed down and out toward the edges once more, as if this one rune was its own flame world. A cycle of energy in constant motion. The first time he had summoned it, his energy hadn't been stable enough, causing it to lose its balance and explode. This time, he found the trick and maintained its stability. He carefully observed its motion. So, as soon as its form is born, it will naturally absorb flame energy to strengthen itself. Just what level of magical art is this? Or is it even a magical art? Long Chen suddenly found that even without him pouring in any energy, the rune simply floated in the sky and continued to grow larger and stronger. It was no wonder the Eastern Wasteland Bell had only told him that it represented one of the four major elements. Without a high enough realm, there was simply no way a person could understand it. Even Long Chen could only tell that the things he was saying were true. He didn't know the why or the how of it. Even at the soul transformation realm, with his immense control over other magical arts, he couldn't fully comprehend this rune. 
It seems to just be a profound law, not a magical art. However, it's even more precious than a hundred or even a thousand magical arts. As long as I can understand it, I will know how to circulate my flame energy in the best possible manner. Long Chen smiled. So this rune was even better than a magical art. If a magical art was like a precious medicinal ingredient, then this divine rune was the fertile soil from which amazing medicines could be grown. If he properly used this soil, it would benefit him endlessly. I should try to see if I can make my own magical art. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. He carefully examined the flame rune in his hand. Looking at the way it circulated, he poured in eight streams of flame energy. The rune instantly transformed, taking on the shape of an eight-petaled lotus flower. Boom Novaloon.com CM however, as soon as this lotus flower appeared, it exploded. Long Chen's smile grew brighter. No, I was wrong. Perhaps this rune is the embryonic form of a magical art. Maybe, I really can make a magical art that belongs solely to myself with it. Long Chen took a deep breath and concentrated. He began experimenting with the divine rune. Testing what shape he could turn it into. Chapter 1677 World Annihilation Flame Lotus Heavenly Manifestation Translator Born to be Long Chen didn't view himself as particularly talented or as someone possessing the immense intellect of the ancient creators of magical arts. Those experts had been truly peerless when it came to intelligence, and they had come up with amazing techniques. Those who could create amazing magical arts were capable of founding their own sects and inheritances. However, in the long river of history, countless heavenly geniuses soared like shooting stars, but then also fell like shooting stars. The absolute majority of the supreme sects from those times had vanished after the Dark Era. No more sects on their level ever rose. That was due to the decline of this era. By this point, the current generation had been severed from the inheritances of the immortal era. It was impossible for someone to create similar magical arts on the same level. Long Chen knew that this was very difficult, and his chances were slim, but he still wanted to see if he could do it. After all, as long as he constantly consumed the pills that Huo Long refined for him, he was still steadily increasing his cultivation base. He could focus on other things while digesting those pills since he had the divine ability that Evil Moon had given him for his stomach. As he absorbed the medicinal pills, he also experimented with creating his own magical art based on the principles of the divine rune. His unwavering perseverance resulted in a notebook filled with notes after three days. Bang! The flame sphere in Long Chen's hand exploded again. Long Chen wrote down, Failure number 798. Reason for failure, unable to stabilize the core. After writing down this line, he sat on his butt. Although he had prepared himself from the start, failing so many times dispirited him. It really isn't a normal level of difficulty Long Chen bitterly smiled. Before this, he had thought of countless possibilities for his magical art. However, after failing time and time again, the space for his imagination shrank. When he failed the last time, it was a big blow to him. Long Chen sighed. Maybe I'm aiming too high. Perhaps I should take things step by step. Originally, Long Chen had felt that using the Divine Rune's principles to blaze an alternate path would be possible. However, when he tried to summon a flame domain similar to the Celestial Lightning Body Blink, he found he was completely unable to stabilize the core of it. He was unable to summon a true domain. Although he had created a few simple magical arts, those were practically garbage. If he used them in combat, his enemies would laugh at him. Whatever. I should try building naturally on the divine rune instead. Long Chen took a deep breath. He spent an hour to make sure his heart was as calm as possible before he once more summoned the divine rune. This divine rune was like fertile soil. As long as he had a suitable seed, it would easily grow. Having this divine rune saved him a great deal of effort when it came to creating his own magical art. Despite that, it was still incredibly difficult. This divine rune was like the foundation of a skyscraper. Although the foundation was amazing, building a skyscraper was still very difficult. The most difficult thing was that if his building didn't match the foundation in the end, it would immediately explode. With the divine rune as the foundation. His greatest advantage was that his magical art wouldn't crumble in the middle of it. 
success or failure would only be shown when it was fully built. However, where there were advantages, there were also disadvantages. If he didn't have this foundation, he would know if he failed right at the start. He could immediately give up and start again, which would save him time. Bang, bang, boom, fuck. Explosive sounds rang out in the room along with Long Chen's cursing. After failing another hundred times, even Long Chen was going crazy. There were some magical arts that he felt should definitely work in theory. But when they finally reached the final point, the divine rune formed a rejection toward them and collapsed. I refuse to believe this crap. I can definitely find an equilibrium. Long Chen's stubborn character flared. For now, he gave up on this kind of testing. Based on his understanding of the divine rune, he began to test how to stabilize the core of the magical art while still allowing all the divine rune's power to circulate throughout the magical art evenly. He wanted to make the divine rune and the magical art one entity that could not be separated and would not have any expulsion toward each other. Long Chen wrote down 19 plans at once. This time, he confidently started his experiments. The result? All 19 failed. Fuck off. Long Chen destroyed a stone stool in rage. He felt like he was going crazy. In theory, it clearly worked. But when he actually tried it, it refused to balance itself. It was like after creating a water channel, a hole would suddenly appear when he poured water into it, and then the whole thing would explode. What infuriated Long Chen the most was that he wasn't even able to find the holes. Long Chen lay on the ground, looking at the roof of the room. There were dozens of pearls embedded into the ceiling, forming a lotus flower pattern. Their light was warm and comforting. Novaloon.com Long Chen suddenly sat up and raised a hand. The flame rune reappeared in his hand, and a lotus flower grew out of it. It had eight petals, each with a straight vein leading to the center. At the center was the core of the divine rune in the form of stamens. Looking at the flame lotus, his eyes began to shine. He increased its power. Boom. The entire room exploded, and Long Chen hacked up blood. His arm had been turned to pulp. This room had been built according to the standards of life star experts, but even it was unable to endure the force of the explosion. Long Chen ignored his injuries. His arm instantly recovered, and he summoned the flame rune again. The flame lotus was reborn. A halo of fire appeared around the edge of the lotus, protecting it. As Long Chen circulated the divine rune, the fire halo began to spin faster and faster. As it spun, the petals grew brighter, and the flower stamens had small whirlpools appear within them. The fire halo absorbed energy from the divine rune, sending it to the petals, which sent it to the stamens. The whirlpools inside the stamens then sent the energy to the divine rune below, forming an endless cycle. The flame lotus bloomed with light. Ha ha ha. Finally. Success. Long Chen roared with laughter. Just now, he had grasped a spark of inspiration that allowed him to succeed with just one more failure. I'll call you the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. Long Chen was incredibly excited. This was a magical art unique to him. He had finally succeeded. Just as he shouted the name of the World Annihilation Flame Lotus, the Eastern Xuan region as a whole shook. Seven colored clouds filled the sky, dyeing the world in all its colors. Countless experts looked up in a panic. Everyone went out to take a look. Some people thought that the end of the world had come. Don't panic. These seven colored clouds are an auspicious sign. It's a good thing. Shouted some experts to relax others. The entire eastern Xuan region was thrown into chaos. No one had ever seen such a manifestation. They activated photographic jades. But they were shocked to find that their photographic jades were unable to see the seven colored clouds. Within the Zhuangshan Dao sect. All the disciples were looking up in shock. The world had transformed into the colors of the rainbow. This kind of phenomenon was shocking. Everyone, don't panic. Based on the records, there are three conditions that can bring about the appearance of seven colored clouds. The first is that our world's chi flow has reached a pinnacle, and so the heavens bestow an auspicious sign. The second is that a priceless treasure has appeared. One overflowing with karmic luck that brings about the appearance of seven colored clouds. The third, isn't too possible Li Xiangxuan's voice rang out in the sky, allaying people's fears. What is the third possibility? Disciple wishes to know. An Empyrean bowed respectfully. 
The third possibility is that someone managed to create a magical art capable of shaking heaven and earth. When that expert bestows a name to that magical art, if it obtains the recognition of heaven and earth, seven colored clouds will appear as a confirmation of its existence and name. However, after the dark era, with the inheritance of the immortal era essentially severed, creating a magical art that can match the perfect divine arts of the immortal era is essentially impossible. So everyone should simply wait calmly. We'll wait for news from the other regions to see if this auspicious sign descended there as well, said Li Xiangxuan. However, Li Xiangxuan had just said this when the clouds suddenly scattered. The world returned to its normal appearance. Li Xiangxuan was stunned. You hit your own face by saying this. You just said that the third possibility wasn't very likely, but the clouds already vanished. If the continent had truly been restored to its peak or a priceless treasure had appeared, the auspicious clouds wouldn't have appeared for such a short time, said the old patriarch who was facing Li Xiangxuan in the Zhuanshan Tower. Li Xiangxuan reddened slightly. Suddenly, Li Xiangxuan looked at a jade plate on his waist. The western, southern, northern, and central regions didn't have the seven colored clouds appear. Only the eastern Xuan region had this manifestation. Did some peerless expert in the eastern Xuan region really give birth to such a shocking technique? You don't need to be curious. This peerless expert is from our Zhuanshan Dao sect. Just at this moment, the Zhuanshan Tower's voice rang out, stunning Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch. Long Chen, exclaimed Li Xiangxuan and the Patriarch. Yes, he just created a technique. Its power is definitely amazing. However, according to reason, it shouldn't have reached the level of gaining heaven and earth's approval. I don't know why it managed to summon the seven colored clouds. The Zhuanshan Tower's voice contained confusion as well. So it was him. Then there will be a good show to watch. A magical art created by Long Chen that was capable of forcing heaven and earth of giving it their approval. I look forward to seeing it. Li Xiangxuan's eyes began to shine, and he looked in the direction of Crouching Dragon Mountain. Being able to bear witness to the rise of a heaven to fire was also a kind of unrivaled honor. Chapter 1678 Working hard at excavating translator. Born to be looking at the flame lotus in his hand. Long Chen was so emotional that he almost cried. He really had succeeded. This world annihilation flame lotus was probably even a bit stronger than Starfall. It absolutely delighted him. Right now. He had only created the embryonic form of the world annihilation flame lotus. It would only continue to get stronger, and it would be easier to develop it. What Long Chen wanted to do was merge Starfall into the world annihilation flame lotus. There were eight petals. He wanted to see if he could condense eight Starfalls on the petals. As for the stamens in the center, for now he didn't dare to touch them. Those stamens were the core of this magical art. If he merged Starfall with it, it would definitely have immense power. However, the core was the bridge connecting the energy. If there was a problem there, it would cause the entire thing to explode. Furthermore, there were 108 of those stamens, all connected. In other words, if he wanted to add starfall there, he would have to condense 108 starfalls to maintain the equilibrium. What kind of joke was that? If any of those 108 starfalls exploded, Long Chen would be deader than dead. With his previous experience, Long Chen no longer dared to keep experimenting inside. He left the room and reappeared above ground. He found that Crouching Dragon Mountain was silent, and everyone was in their own private cultivation rooms. Regretfully, the Blood Essence Stone and Blood Soul Stone were useless on him, or he'd also use them to get stronger. He stealthily left Crouching Dragon Mountain, saying goodbye to one of the guards. He left the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The current Zhuanshan Dao sect was no longer the old Zhuanshan Dao sect. If he wanted to leave, he had to use one of the four gates. The rest of it was covered in a barrier that didn't allow people to come or go. If someone tried to force their way in, it would activate the killing formation. The formation was connected to the Zhuanshan Tower, so its power was enough to instantly kill a life star expert holding a quasi divine item. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was now like one solid iron piece. Outsiders couldn't possibly sneak their way in. As for the spies inside, if Li Xiangxuan didn't give them a chance, 
they wouldn't be able to bring out any useful information either. Upon leaving the Zhuangshan Dao sect, Long Chen found a desolate place far away. He began to test his world annihilation flame lotus while consuming pills like his life depended on it. As Long Chen was experimenting with the world annihilation flame lotus, powerful undercurrents were surging within the continent. The atmosphere was growing tense and strange. First of all, Long Chen had gone to the Jade Lake sacred land and annihilated the southern Xuan region's elite disciples. That had included tens of thousands of experts and dozens of empyreans. The name of the eastern Xuan region's demon king shook the continent once more. However, this time, countless voices rang out from the other regions. Those voices were of condemnation. Their goal was to force the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, Ku Jinying, to stop protecting Long Chen. It was because Ku Jinying was protecting Long Chen that he could so fearlessly and recklessly kill others. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance testified that Long Chen was a victim, that this was all Shen Bijin's trap, that Long Chen had been forced to act in self-defense, that didn't quell their rage. In their view, Long Chen had massacred tens of thousands to save five women. What was so valuable about their lives that other people's lives were nothing. Just as those voices of condemnation were like an unceasing tide, news came from the elusive music Immortal Palace. They refused to admit that Shen Bijin had set a trap to frame Long Chen. Instead, the palace master herself said that this was a matter between a young man and woman, a result of falling out of love and into hatred. Just look at Long Chen's wild character and how many women he had beside him. If it hadn't been Long Chen who had taken the initiative to provoke or tease Shen Bijin, there was no way Shen Bijin would have gone so crazy as to do something so wrong. That was why the palace master said that while she admitted that Shen Bijin had been in the wrong, not all the wrong lay with the elusive music Immortal Palace. At the very least, Long Chen and Shen Bijin should share the responsibility equally. The palace master even went further, saying that since Shen Bijin had made a mistake resulting in harming the southern Xuan region, the elusive music Immortal Palace would block the Devil Abyss's eruption in the southern Xuan region. Even if they had to fight to their last disciple, the elusive music Immortal Palace's actions were greatly supported by the rest of the continent. People loudly shouted, Look, the elusive music Immortal Palace has accepted their responsibility. Shen Bijin is already dead. Then shouldn't Long Chen be killed as well as an apology to all those fallen disciples? Hu Jinying had been furious when she went to the elusive music Immortal Palace, but she left even more infuriated. She hadn't expected the elusive music Immortal Palace to be so shameless as to split their responsibility with Long Chen equally. However, what infuriated her the most was the sudden announcement of the ancient family alliance. They said they were no longer allied with the Martial Heaven Alliance, and they would no longer interfere in the battle between the righteous and corrupt paths. The reason they gave was that as long as the Demon King Long Chen didn't die, they would never be able to work together with the Martial Heaven Alliance since they couldn't accept being allied with someone who would stab their alley in the back. On the third day after the Ancient Family Alliance announced they were breaking ties with the Martial Heaven continent, there were quite a few righteous sects who faced a bloodbath from the corrupt path. Some sects were directly destroyed. The righteous path sects were thrown into chaos. They presented a joint petition begging Ku Jinying to kill the black sheep Long Chen to quell everyone's anger and save the continent's peace and lives. Instead of placing this dead on the corrupt path, they placed it on Long Chen. As long as Long Chen wasn't here, these things wouldn't have happened. Some had already forgotten just how many of the righteous path sects had been massacred even before Long Chen was born. At the same time, Pill Valley, the ancient races, Xuan beasts, and even the Blood Kill Hall came out in support of the Ancient Family Alliance's actions. They pointed everyone's anger at Ku Jinying and Long Chen. Some people even began to wildly fabricate false information, saying that Shen Bijin and Long Chen had long since known each other and that their relationship was complicated. It was Long Chen who had thrown Shen Bijin's heart into chaos, causing her to act so crazy. As people used their imagination to come up with the best stories to stoke people's rage, Shen Bijin actually transformed into the victim, while Long Chen became an irredeemable devil. Under this much pressure, anyone else would have caved, but Ku Jinying stubbornly resisted. 
She even announced that Long Chen hadn't done anything wrong, and that if anyone dared to touch him, she would personally take their head. As the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, she was resolute and upright in character. She didn't surrender to pressure. It was because of this character that she had been elected as the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance. With Ku Jinying stubbornly protecting Long Chen but all the various large powers adding more pressure, the sects belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance began to sway. Some of them began considering whether they should elect a new leader. The Eastern Xuan region and Southern Xuan region's experts were especially tempted to elect a new leader. Their hatred for Long Chen was especially deep. However, even in those regions, those sects were but a fraction of the total. Even in the Southern Xuan region, they didn't number a quarter of all the sects. Hu Jinying had led the Martial Heaven Alliance for so many years. She had always been fair and just and had countless supporters. Before taking her post, she had been exceptionally amazing in the battles between the righteous and corrupt paths. After taking her post, she led the righteous path to strike back, destroying countless strongholds of the corrupt path and forcing them to hide in their minor worlds. The young people had already forgotten about these things, but the older generation still remembered her heroism. Hu Jinying's heroism had moved an entire generation of people. She had her own worshippers, and those people were either the leaders of their own sects or top elders with the greatest authority in their sects. So even as the pressure grew, these people didn't sway. In the northern, western, and central Xuan regions, the shouting was the most intense but they were actually the most stable. It was only the people of the ancient family alliance who were shouting for her replacement. However, just that was unable to shake Ku Jinying's position. Bang! The ground split open, and a cloaked man popped out. He had a five-colored bow on his back and an iron pick resting on his shoulder. He was covered in dust and emitting an air of death. He was like a zombie who had crawled out of a tomb. As for the place he had just popped out of, it was actually a giant tomb that had already collapsed. As for the man, he was patting the dust off his body as if he had just finished a day of hard work. He had a relaxed smile. Mo Nian, you're completely intolerable. Why are you constantly digging up tombs? Are you not afraid of facing divine retribution? There were thousands of experts surrounding the tomb. The one shouting was a life star expert. This tomb clearly belonged to his family. The man lifted back his hood revealing a portion of his face. It was a handsome face that still had a bit of baby fat. On its own, it was a nice and friendly face, but when that mischievous glint in his eyes was added, he no longer seemed like such a good person. This person was Mo Nian. Even after so many years, he didn't look like he had changed much. It was just his eyes that looked a bit wiser. His aura was very strange though. It was constantly fluctuating not letting people obtain an exact grasp of his current cultivation base. Divine Retribution? Back when you betrayed my Mo family, you should have faced Divine Retribution, but aren't you still living happily? Mo Nian took out a wash basin and washed the dust off his face just like that. He switched into a new cloak, completely relaxed. It was like he felt that tearing down their ancestral tomb was helping them tear down the old to make room for the new. It was like he was saying there was no need to thank him. All right, I still have more to do, so I'll get going. Mo Nian put away the wash basin. Bastard, you think you can leave just like that? Roared a young expert. He blocked Mo Nian's path. Why wouldn't I? Are you asking me to stay for dinner? Asked Mo Nian indifferently. Bastard, that young expert raised his spear, and his manifestation appeared behind him. Powerful pressure crashed down. He was actually a powerful Empyrean. Forget it. Life is so beautiful. Why throw it away so easily? Ah, I really am too kind compared to Long Chen. Mo Nian shook his head. He ignored those people and walked away slowly. As for that young man, in the end, he didn't dare to attack. He just glared silently as Mo Nian left Novaloon.com Long Chen. Just what are you planning? However, I have to thank you for relieving quite a bit of pressure on me. After a bit more excavating, I'll go find you. Mo Nian smiled, pulling down his hood. He faded into the distance with his iron pick. Chapter 1679 Giving Face But Not Receiving Face Translator Born to be a month later, Long Chen finally came out of seclusion. 
During this month, he had eaten medicinal pills like they were food. It went without saying that the swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability that Evil Moon had taught him was truly terrifying and worthy of being one of the strongest abilities of the dark evil dragon race. Long Chen's cultivation base had risen to the fourth vestige of soul transformation. The soul transformation realm focused on the Yuan spirit. At the same time as his Yuan spirit grew stronger, so did his spiritual Yuan. It was a kind of passive elevation, but considering that he had four Qi Cs, he had gained far more spiritual Yuan than others. The thing that delighted Long Chen the most though wasn't his cultivation base. It was that he had finally managed to merge the power of Starfall with the World Annihilation Flame Lotus. However, the failure of the merger was too high, with only a 30% chance of success. He was still groping about for how to do it, but the general progression was going in a good direction. All he needed was more time to experiment. After all, to create a perfect magical art required numerous revisions. This one month of seclusion gave Long Chen immense confidence. He finally felt like he had the power to back himself up again. During this one month, he had elevated practically every part of his arsenal. His cultivation base had risen to the fourth vestige. He had developed his world annihilation flame lotus, and Huo Long almost finished absorbing the power of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. After absorbing the power of the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, Huo Long finally attained a level of power capable of refining the giant divine flame crystals from the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Other than the one he had used in the spirit world as bait, he hadn't managed to use any of them up. Huo Long's power hadn't been high enough to refine them, but now, its power had risen to the point that it could. Once it finished absorbing divine flame crystals energy, it would be even more terrifying than the Black Illusion Dragon Flame. As for Lai Long, its power had also risen and it had finished devouring the Divine Lightning. Although completely refining that energy would still take some time, it already possessed some of the power of Divine Lightning. Finally, the old Connor Evil Moon was no longer conning him. It had finished refining the Purgatory Evil Dragon's energy and was able to help Long Chen fight. Evil Moon even promised to carry him to the greatest heights. In this one month, Long Chen had completely transformed. His combat power was completely different from when he had gone into seclusion. Boss, you're finally out. Our Zhuangshan Dao sect is being drowned by other people's spit. Long Chen had just come out when Guo Ran came running over angrily. What's going on? Long Chen was startled. Fuck, it's those idiots of Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts. They're as arrogant as ever. Even Senior Kujianying is being pressured immensely by them. All of them are encouraging the experts of the Righteous Path to impeach her, said Guo Ran. It's that serious? Let's walk and talk. Long Chen started walking while listening to Guo Ran's explanation of what had been happening in the outside world. When he heard that the elusive music Immortal Palace was acting like a good person, taking the initiative to offer to hold the southern Xuan region's devil abyss while pushing the responsibility onto him. Long Chen's gaze turned cold. He understood Zi Yan. She definitely wouldn't do something so shameless. In other words, this had to be the decision of the elusive music Immortal Palace's higher-ups. He hadn't expected them to be so shameless. He had had no enmity with Shen Bijin before she had hunted him down across regions. He knew this was definitely arranged by the elusive music Immortal Palace. Now that Shen Bijin died, they put all her sins on his head. That made him disappointed in the elusive music Immortal Palace, as well as angry. The elusive music Immortal Palace had pushed the responsibility onto Long Chen, and the ancient family alliance had capitalized on that. Under the banner of fighting for the innocent ancient family experts who had died to Long Chen, they demanded Long Chen be killed as vengeance for those disciples. Thus, they managed to point their spears at Long Chen while still standing on the moral high ground. With the elusive music Immortal Palace leading the way and the ancient family alliance working hand in hand with them, Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the Xuan beasts all came out, adding pressure on Kujianying. I don't get it. The Pill Fairy saw everything. Considering her relationship with you, why doesn't she say anything? If she just up Guo Ran, you really are foolish. The Pill Fairy might be my friend, 
but Pill Valley wants to destroy me. If you were her, would you help me or her father? Long Chen shook his head. I'd help you, declared Guo Ran without hesitation. TCH. Scram. You're not the Pill Fairy so what's the point? Furthermore, even if she wanted to help me, it's her father's word that counts. She doesn't have the authority to speak. However, your words have reminded me. Maybe Zi Yan is the same as the Pill Fairy, and neither have the freedom to do what they want to do. Sighed Long Chen. Boss, it's not just that. A bunch of so-called justice warriors have come from other regions under the signboard of eliminating a threat to society. They're constantly condemning you, saying you, well, I'm not going to repeat their words, because they're too infuriating. We haven't done anything to them, but ten days ago, these idiots directly ran over to our Zhuanshan Dao sect to curse at us in front of our very gates. I really want to slaughter them all. Guo Ran became angrier as he spoke. That's a bit much. Did the Xuan Master say anything? The Xuan Master just said to ignore them and wait for you to come out of seclusion before doing anything. That's why I've been waiting for you every day. Brat, you couldn't have just been waiting without doing anything, right? You have to raise your own power. Long Chen glared at Guo Ran. Of course I raised my power as high as I could. I've reached a bottleneck, and if I force my way through too quickly... It might not be a steady advancement. I'm worried about a heart devil. Guo Ran hastily shook his head. TCH. What heart devil? I bet you feel like you're already badass enough and want to go show off first. Fine. Gather everyone. I'll test their power in a bit. But I'm going to have a chat with the Xuan Master first. Since these people want to be so shameless, I'll just have to slap them in the face again. Long Chen went off to see Li Xiangxuan. Upon finding him, he didn't say a word. He just took out two photographic jades. When Li Xiangxuan saw the photographic jades, he jumped in shock. He had no idea how Long Chen had managed to do this. He had recorded everything that had happened back then without anyone being aware. It had to be known that activating photographic jades caused spatial fluctuations. They were fragile existences that could be broken by the slightest shockwave. In an intense battle, it was impossible to record anything with the photographic jade unless they were activated at an extreme distance. But at such distances, things were too blurry to recognize. Usually, it was only possible to estimate who was fighting based on their techniques. That was why most photographic jades weren't very valuable. Without being able to see the faces clearly, it was impossible to be sure who the person being recorded was. It was all too easy to make up a fake blurry recording. However, these two photographic jades of Long Chen's were shockingly clear. Each exchange in the battle was recorded clearly. It was completely unimaginable. Furthermore, he had also recorded how he had killed Di Long's clone. Originally, I wasn't planning on revealing these. I didn't want to be too hard on the elusive music Immortal Palace or the Ancient Family Alliance. However, since they refused to give me the same face, I have no need to give them face either. Tomorrow, I will go talk to Zheng Wenlong. I trust that these two photographic jades will spread throughout the entire Martial Heaven continent in just a few days. At that time, I want to see how the elusive music Immortal Palace explains its actions, and how the Ancient Family Alliance explains how they abused their position. Di Long hates me for destroying his clone, yet he came up with such a sanctimonious excuse and criticized the Martial Heaven Alliance as if he was the virtuous one. It seems the last slap I gave him wasn't resounding enough. This time, I'll make sure it's a bit more vicious. I wonder if he'll still have the face to let his alliance afterward. Due to Mo Nian, Long Chen hadn't planned on getting too close to the ancient family alliance. The one that infuriated him the most was the elusive music Immortal Palace, a so-called sacred land, one of the protectors of the marital heaven continent, an existence countless people looked up toward was actually so vile. Long Chen was almost unable to believe it. The reason why he hadn't completely exposed Shen Bijin's sinister and malicious actions was because he didn't want to become mortal enemies with the elusive music Immortal Palace. Perhaps in his heart, he didn't wish to be enemies with Zi Yan and didn't want to make things hard on her. In the Grand Han, she had held back. He knew that. In truth, even if she hadn't held back, 
All he would have needed was to use a bit of his divine lightning to kill her. However, he didn't think that Zi Yan knew that he had such a trump card. In that kind of scenario, she had still held back and left her life in his hands. At that time, his heart had ached because he had seen the look in her eyes. That expression was one of release. She had actually wished to die to his hands. At the same time as he had felt pain, he had vaguely felt a touch of shame. Even he didn't know why he would feel shame because he had never owed her anything. If he forced the argument, then he supposed the only thing was that he had failed to live up to her feelings. During that battle, he had ruthlessly rejected her feelings. He hadn't spread the photographic jade of Shen Bijin's actions because inside, he hoped this would make up for what he had done to Zi Yan. Or perhaps it was more accurate to say that it was a way of comforting his own heart. However, since the elusive music Immortal Palace was so shameless, and this had even implicated Kujinying, he had no choice. If he still didn't strike back, he wouldn't be Long Chen. All right, these two photographic jades of yours can definitely deal a mortal blow to the elusive music Immortal Palace and Ancient Family Alliance. All the rumors will naturally be put to rest, praised Li Xiangxuan. Since you have no objection, then I'll go do it. As for those people outside the gates, probed Long Chen, do what you want. They can no longer do anything to us. Li Xiangxuan smiled. Long Chen also smiled. He naturally knew what Li Xiangxuan was thinking, as it was also what he was thinking. He left, going straight to the Zhuanshan Plaza. He loudly announced, Brothers and sisters of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, everyone, come out. Today, I'll let you out for some fun. Chapter 1680 Kill Them All Translator Born to be there was a sea of people outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect's main gate. They were the genius disciples of the other regions. They had completely blocked the entrance, and any disciples or elders of the Zhuanshan Dao sect who needed to come or go were cursed by them. They said that the Martial Heaven Alliance was harboring a killer, while the Zhuanshan Dao sect itself was unable to distinguish right from wrong. Sooner or later Long Chen would cause the Zhuanshan Dao sect's destruction. Some even said Li Xiangxuan was muddle-hated and tyrannical while Ku Jinying appointed people due to favoritism. As for Long Chen, he was the black sheep of the entire righteous path. In the face of all that cursing, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's members were infuriated. These fellows were clearly being used by others to infuriate them. Right now, the continent's public opinion was controlled by Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts. If there was just one person saying something, then people wouldn't believe it. But if a million people said it at the same time, then even if what they said was false, it would become true. Furthermore, did they only have a million people? Not even a billion would be enough if you counted their members. They didn't give Long Chen any chance to retort, as they were drowning him with their spit. Even with Ku Jinying testified that Long Chen was innocent, regretfully she was his senior. This kind of testimony was naturally lacking weight especially with Pill Valley secretly controlling the majority of the Righteous Path's forces. Even if those Righteous Sects didn't dare to go against Kujinying, they could still secretly support this public opinion without Kujinying being able to punish them. In the face of all of that, Li Xiangxuan had ordered the Zhuanshan Dao Sect's disciples not to cause any trouble. If they couldn't handle that, then they could just stay inside. In any case, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had a grand formation protecting it, and it completely blocked their words. Li Xiangxuan's patience encouraged those people even further, making them even more arrogant. Some of them even began turning their cursing into incredibly infuriating songs. Fuck. In the face of the corrupt path, they turn into little sheep, but they're better than anyone at internal fighting. How did the righteous path raise these kinds of idiots? Demanded one of the guards at the gate. Others couldn't hear these people's cursing, but the guards at the gate had to listen to it all day, making them feel like they would explode. Having to listen to their insults while not being allowed to strike back was a kind of torment. Ignore them. Once senior apprentice brother Long Chen and the others come out of seclusion, there'll be a good show to watch. They won't be here for much longer. I'm sure you know senior apprentice brother Long Chen's methods, laughed another disciple evilly. I really don't understand these people. Are they really idiots? 
do they not realize how easily senior apprentice brother Long Chen could crush them? Another one of them shook his head. These people were nothing but a mob. Although there were a few Empyreans hidden amongst them, Long Chen was known to kill ordinary Empyreans like killing chickens. Just what were these people thinking? The majority of these people were hired to come here, while another portion has enmity with the Zhuangshan Dao sect or senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The remaining portion are the real idiots who were duped into coming here. The reason they were duped is due to their jealousy of him, said another disciple. Jealousy? What right do they have to be jealous? Snorted the previous disciple. These people didn't even have the qualifications to look at Long Chen, let alone be jealous of him. How could they not be jealous? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen managed to climb his way to the peak of heavenly geniuses without any master or powerful background. Well, he did that by risking his life time and time again. In any case, other than admiration, I don't feel anything else toward him. He, that's because we both came from normal backgrounds. But what about those fellows that are above others from birth, that have powerful families and amazing masters? Those fellows might be born with a divine item in hand, with their foundation being built while they were still a fetus in their mother's bellies. They were born with the best talent the best cultivation environment, the best masters. But despite getting such a head start, senior apprentice brother Long Chen had already thrown them into the distance. Do you think they like it? Even if they can't beat him, do you think they'll pass up the chance to give him a bloody nose? Then they'll be paying a big price for that bloody nose. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is no peaceful Buddha just as the disciples guarding the gates were discussing things quietly. The gate slowly opened causing them to jump in shock. It had to be known that the Zhuangshan Dao sect's members also came and went from the smaller side door beside the main gate. This was the first time the actual main gates were opened since the reconstruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The huge gate slowly opened, revealing Long Chen, the Dragonblood Warriors, as well as the other elite disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Those experts hurling abuse against the gates instantly fell silent. These hundreds of thousands of experts went quiet like a blade had severed their throats. Long Chen's name and fame had already spread throughout the martial heaven continent. When they actually saw him, they felt a chill. Looking at him was like looking at a death god. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Those guards hastily bowed. It's been hard on you. Long Chen knew that they had had to endure a great deal during this time. He coldly looked at the crowd. There are many kinds of death and the most annoying one is when the person dying has to irritate you right before death. However, I, Long Chen, am already used to it, and I'm not picky about who I kill. As long as someone wishes to be killed, I won't let them down. I'll give you all one incense stick's worth of time. If you don't want to die, then scram. After an incense stick's worth of time, anyone within a hundred thousand miles of the Zhuangshan Dao sect will be killed to the last. Long Chen took out an incense stick. It was a completely ordinary stick of incense, and he jabbed it onto the staircase and lit it. Long Chen's arrival shocked all these experts. Those people that had been cursing so eloquently had their mouths clamped tight. The guards looked at them disdainfully. Weren't these people so arrogant just now? But as soon as they saw senior apprentice brother Long Chen, they became mute. Long Chen, so you still have the face to come out? If I were you. I'd have long since killed myself out of shame. You slaughtered countless innocents. You're even worse than a devil. How dare you stay in the righteous path? Shouted a rank nine celestial. Although he shouted loudly, his voice was clearly quivering, showing his nervousness. There were quite a few syllables that he stumbled upon. Guo Ran snorted and raised his hand, but he was stopped by Long Chen. He looked at the disciple who was hiding behind others and holding a talisman tightly. He shook his head. Clearly, this person was one of the leaders. He wanted to provoke everyone's hatred. If Guo Ran really attacked, he would immediately flee using that talisman in his hand. A talisman is unable to protect your life. At most, it can make you feel a bit more secure. But that feeling of safety will be what makes you lose your life, said Long Chen indifferently. Laughable. Since I came here, I never thought about leaving alive. Do you think others are as afraid of death as you? Do you think everyone else is the same as you and tramples over other people's lives just for their own? Let me tell you, 
This is a blood explosion talisman. A trump card I prepared for fighting you to the death. Even if I can't beat you, I'll show you what's called righteousness. I would rather die than submit. Compared to me, you are garbage. Shouted that rank 9 celestial. His words impressed countless others. Who would have thought that this person was so unyielding and upright? Quite a few people felt their blood heating up. What a joke. That's clearly a 7-star aimless teleportation talisman. As long as you crush it, you'll immediately scram and leave a bunch of idiots sending themselves to their deaths. For there to be someone so shameless in this world, my eyes have truly been opened. Let me put it this way. This person is a talisman cultivator and skilled in all kinds of talismans. If I'm wrong, I will cut off my own head and give it to you. How's that? Behind Long Chen, a white-robed man walked forward. He was also an Empyrean and was one of the new members of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. This immediately caused an uproar. Everyone looked toward the Rank 9 Celestial. The Rank 9 Celestial panicked. He didn't know how to reply. From within the crowd, another Empyrean walked up to him. It was a woman. She sneered. Although I'm not a talisman cultivator, I know a bit about them. Don't you think having your own people decide what a talisman does is a bit conceited? The white-robed man's expression sank. This woman was actually questioning him. He was about to speak when Long Chen waved his hand. They're just trying to stall for time. Let them do as they please. In any case, there's still a bit of time left. Only then did everyone realize that in that tense atmosphere, they had forgotten the incense stick. There was only an inch left. Run. Novaloon.com Some people were finally afraid. With their understanding of Long Chen, they knew that staying was death. Following a portion of them fleeing, the remaining people were thrown into chaos. Haha, <laughs> run then. I won't run. I don't believe Long Chen dares to do so. If he did, then Pill Valley, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, and the Xuan beasts would have a righteous reason for tearing the Zhuangshan Dao sect up by its roots. What reason does he have to kill us all? Sneered that woman. Correct. Long Chen definitely wouldn't dare to do so. If he did, he would implicate the Zhuangshan Dao sect and they would be exterminated along with him. He's just trying to intimidate you. Shouted another Empyrean. He stood at the front of the crowd. With one expert after another standing up. A portion of the people that had run returned. Feeling that these Empyreans made sense. Long Chen didn't say anything. When the incense stick finally burned out, he finally opened his mouth. Kill them all.